That's how to greet your husband after staying out all night till the wee hours of the morning. Oh, for goodness sake, Edith Odobong. Do you really have to? Have to what? Fight at this ungodly hour? Can't you pretend to be a caring husband who's, who's glad his wife is back home from work after a long day? Or better still postpone this fight till the morning. I can't do this right now, man. I'm tired. You're really on... <gasps> Wait, you do realize I'm your husband, right? And you do realize it's almost 1 a.m. in the morning. Call me crazy, but... That's not a good time for a married woman to come strutting back into her home. Obviously, you have a lot of things to say to me tonight. And you enjoy listening to the sound of your voice. So I'll just let you do your thing and enjoy yourself till you feel better. I have been standing on heels for hours, Edith, for hours. Okay? And I, the first thing on my mind was sleep. But I can see the first thing on your list was quarreling with your wife. I don't have this time, please. Are you kidding me right now? This girl was not like this before I married her. She was the most gentle and soft-spoken lady I'd ever met. That's part of the reason why I married her. But see now, I talk one, she talks ten. Okay, no voila. Julia, so you were pretending all this while we were dating. You made me think you were mentally ripe and ready. But now I see you were not ready for marriage. Not mentally, not physically. Really, Edit? You want to keep talking? Listen, Julia, I am your husband. I married you, not the other way around. You will listen to me when I talk. Oh yeah, no, no vex. I beg. What is it? Why the change in behavior? Or you still want to continue living your life as a single girl? You don't even respect me enough to think that I have the right to complain of your intolerable ways. Intolerable? Edit. I am intolerable now? Yes, you are. Julia, you are. You're too busy to do anything in this house. You don't even cook for me anymore. <laughs> You're too busy to clean the house. Even sex with my wife has become a really big privilege. You go out and come back at any time of the night you like. I'm getting sick of this. You know, Edit, if someone was to judge this matter by just listening to the things that you say, they'd think I'm one horrible, insensitive woman. If I remember correctly, Edit Udobon, I was a working woman when you met me. I was running a blog and still am, so nothing's really changed. I just have to attend celebrity events every other weekend and during the weekdays, I'm in the office gathering content for my blog. A blog that gives me good money at the end of every month. 
And you were always very supportive of me. You never seized any opportunity to, to voice how proud you were of me, to, of being an intelligent and independent woman. What is all this? Now suddenly all of that's supposed to change after marriage? It now makes me a terrible wife? If I'm so terrible, so why did you marry me? Look, I'm not, I'm not trying to make you look like a terrible person. It's just I'm, I'm saying maybe you're not trying hard enough to balance both worlds. We're married now. It's a whole new world. Some things have to change. And I get that. But your way of putting it across is just too hard, too condescending. Like I'm, I'm, I'm something you just picked off the streets without a bearing. Ah uh ah. -uh. Do I do I do I yell at you when you come back from work? When you come back home late? But I know women who do, and you need to appreciate the fact that I don't disturb you. I try to balance both words as much as I can. I cook when I can, and when I can't, I just can't. You need to understand that. Maybe you should be more supportive instead of, 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 of trash talking at me all the time. Oh baby, don't sound like I hate you. I don't. I love you to bits, you know that, right? I doubt that sometimes. Oh, sweetheart, never doubt my love for you. I love you very much. And that's why I get upset every time you're not with me. All right? Now oh, come here, my love. I've been waiting. Please leave me, Edith. Just leave me. But sweetheart, I've been waiting for you. I missed you. Yeah, baby. Really? Edith, really? <sighs> you want to do this? Of course, sweetheart. Yeah, baby, look, I love you. And I've missed you terribly. I know it's been a long night, but I really need you. Okay? Edith, you just don't know when to ask for things. Baby, stop now. Don't push me away. So you really think I can respond to sex after this drama you just put up? You're unbelievable. But I've said I'm sorry now. Doesn't sorry count anymore these days. It's not that simple for us women, okay? So if you want some action, be nice. Promise me you'll stay with me. We'll win this war. We'll fight for what we What is your problem? Couldn't you have waited until we got home before doing that rubbish? Dominic, what is it? I should be asking you. Asking me what? Why can't you keep it together? Why are you behaving like I'm like a common market woman? I don't get it. I can't get it, okay? Edit. God has structured the penis in such a way that you can aim it at a specific place if you want to urinate. Why you keep messing up the bathroom floor with drops of your urine is something I don't understand. Ah, uh -uh. is it that hard? Or is it because you're not the one who washes it almost on a daily basis? The whole place is just stinking up and it's even filtering into the room. Good morning to you too, my lovely wife. Good morning to you too. But really, I can't do this anymore. Uh -uh. Help me out now. And thank you, my lovely wife, for the wonderful breakfast. I'm enjoying it. What's that supposed to mean? You know we went to bed really late, and I just woke up. I'm about to make you breakfast. At quarter to ten. Anyway, as you can see, I'm eating. Don't worry about me. Fine, then. I'll just get on with some other chores, like washing the toilet. <laughs> yes, please. Go wash the toilets and clean up the house. Do your chores. What's that supposed to mean, Edith? Are you trying to get at something? I already said I was going. You do know there are some married women who do these things instinctively without considering them as chores. But with you, everything is a chore. Go ahead and chore then. To bet sex is a chore too. I'll just sit here and chore with this and this. Why are you doing this, Edith? You just like to infuriate me, right? And this is fun for you, isn't it? Did you say infuriate you? Who is infuriating who? You wake up at 10 a.m. not minding whether your husband will have breakfast. 
And what was the first thing you did when you stepped into the living room? I offered to make you breakfast and you said you were okay. Didn't I? Or do you really think it's a pleasant thing for me to wake up first thing in the morning to such a horrible smell coming from my own bathroom? Uh-uh. You know how I feel about these things, but you can never be more careful because you just don't care. And you know I always clean up after you. Just like you finish eating those biscuits now, spread the crumbs all over the floor and just walk away. Because you know I'll come and clean it up. And you expect me never to be mad? <laughs> and you have indeed registered your madness. To clean up after your husband is now work, yeah? No, it's not a problem. But making it seem like a chore is a problem. The last time I checked, you were the one that called them chores. Because you make it seem like it. I have to do all the housework and kitchen work all by myself. You don't think it would tire me out? Oh, 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 oh. So you have found an excuse to deny me of my conjugal rights, Abby? The chores make you tired. <laughs> well done, oh. Ajebo, well done. I see you, yeah? You know what? I'm just gonna have to get me a maid because this life that I'm living is more than day slavery and it's not for me. I can't take it anymore. Then go ahead and get a maid. If getting a maid will help you be a happier woman and a better wife, fine. Then get a maid. Fine. I'll get a maid. Please, if getting her a maid will solve the problem, then by all means, let her get a maid. But somebody tell her to get ready, because once there's help, I will need her full attention. 247. You feel me, guys? What's wrong? Nothing. You, you don't like the food? I didn't say that, did I? It shows that your attitude towards the food is... Uh... It's different from yours. I can see that clearly. It changes, eh? Come on, Dominic. You know I'm eating for two now. Hmm. Eh? Besides, I, I have to try and use the food to curb the saliva nauseating feeling I, I sense when... It's okay. Sorry. Really. I'm trying to explain now. You won't listen. Mate, you and all these your X-rated video clips. Greg. See it first now. Okay, you know what? I'll send it to you. So that you can show your wife. Hmm? Maybe she can practice some of this on you. <laughs> I'm sure you won't come to work the next day. <laughs> okay. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Wait, hold on. <laughs> oh boy. Guy, you need to stop watching all this stuff. In short, you need to get married. Huh? See. Whether you're married or you're single, you still need a bit of spice in it. Yeah. <laughs> and remember, it's not all married people that are happy. Huh? <laughs> As for me, Sha, I need to remain happy. So I am going to remain single. Rati, who told you that? Uh, a lot of married couples are very happy. Take it from me. Plenty married couples are very, very happy. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, are you happy?
sorry. Uh, but, uh, you know me, I, I like to joke around a lot. Like, <laughs> but who would marry a beautiful wife like Julia and not be happy? Beauty. <laughs> Marty, looks don't count in this issue, you know? I'm just wondering what went wrong. As if she doesn't even love me anymore. It's not like I'm trying to cancel you or anything, but... Julia loves you. Really? You know I've been there from the start, right? Yeah. <laughs> Even when you guys were getting married. You know those are friends didn't want her to marry, you know? Crazy friends. But she still stood by you. Come on. I mean, you guys were so much in love. Perhaps there are other skills to make a marriage work. But if it's love, uh uh, <laughs> come on, I get them. Is it? Is loving a person enough to make a marriage work? I doubt it. Who's your wife? Pregnant. Is that why your face be like where's the word drink chili powder? How's your wife? Pregnant. So how how are you coping? Coping? Ma, if you see how succulent Anita is now, if she she just the glue like say her lips, conde sumptuous, kung fu. Her boobs, che. Guy, I can't keep my house to myself whenever I'm around her. I saw the couple. <laughs> oh, yeah? So, honestly, Anita's mouth is not full of spit. Guy. I love her mouth, no matter what it is full of. If you see Fenwa, she can't go five seconds without spitting. I'm telling you. Uh, you know, I, I remember the last time we kissed. And you know me now, you know I like that to, to kiss. Uh, yeah, I know you. The man with the famous kiss. Boy, I'm serious. I'm very serious. Keep your voice down. I've been living in my private hell for the past couple of months. With each day getting worse than the previous one. You don't say. I say, yeah. if you see Feng Wan now, ah, you won't even recognize her again. Uh -uh. You know if Feng Wan now? Miss Photogenic. Miss Hot Legs. I'm serious. The only thing that is hot about the fair one now are her Facebook pictures. Which is where I go when I need to find the fair one. Because the one I'm living with in the house is not the same one I'm married. So you... you mean you are now into your wife's spirit? You see fair one's face. Oh, swollen. Float of spit in her mouth. These days she's either eating or eating. I'm telling you, her, her untidiness has gone to the highest heavens. A sense of time. Mm. There must be something about pregnancy that makes her think she can wear any and everything except that which makes sense. I mean, I've kept this bottled up for a while. I just need to speak to someone before I lose my mind. Take it easy, D. It's our first baby, man. First pregnancies can be very difficult sometimes. Eh? Take it from me. Take it easy, man. Everything will be fine. Honestly, everything will be fine. Hey. Welcome home, sweetheart. What's going on, babe? Hmm. I just want to have a romantic evening with my lovely wife. Cheers. I've ordered your favorite kind of pizza. Mm -hmm. Your favorite song is on cue, ready to go off. 
And your favorite man is right here, waiting for you. Okay, what's the occasion though? You're the occasion. This is all about you, all right? Are you hungry? Right. Uh, not really, but I'll wait for the delivery. Splendid. So how was your day? Oof, my day was crazy. And crazy is becoming a regular thing these days. But I'm kind of used to it. My boss likes using me to shine, but it's okay. I have my eye on that promotion. So I'll let him play his game while I play mine. Enough about me. I'm sorry, how was your day? Mm. Have I told you how beautiful you are lately? Okay. You are so beautiful and I love you. Thank you. Just thank you. No, I love you too. You still do love me, don't you? But of course I do love you, honey. Always, no oh, matter what. Sweetheart. <laughs> Hold on, edits. What? Let's talk about what you sent me on WhatsApp. I know you're trying to get me to be responsive. Babes, but... babes, babes. Can we talk about that later, please? No, it will only take a second. Sit, let's talk about it. Just a second. Okay. So, I know why you sent the video. I know what you're trying to do. You do? I know you're trying to get me in the mood and I don't judge you. Mm. However, it's, it's not a good thing. You know, this thing is like, it's like a drug. It gets you high and then it gets you addicted and you know, you always want to get on that high all the time. And gradually destroys your spirit and your personality. I don't want you getting hooked on pornography, babe. It's just wrong. Wow. Okay. Thanks for the manner in which you've told me that. But hey, I'm so tripping for you right now. And I want to get high with my dear wife. I'm not sure what kind of thing. can't be happening right now. Mr. Pizza delivery guy, just drop it at the door. I've already paid. Uh -uh. Drop waiting. <coughs> Julia, it's mommy. Oh, shh. Damn. That's true. She called to say. She called to say she was bringing the girl this evening. What girl? Thank you so much for coming, Julia. Thank you. Look, I will not go unless you bless me. He was a member of our NYC drama troupe back then. <laughs> As we watch him, you mean blessed. I beg. But as I was saying, Anita, see, see, see how she'll be. You're pregnant, yet you're not puffy. You know, you're not fat. Hey. You're pregnant yet, you look amazing. In fact, strike that. You look amazingly hot. Oh boy. <laughs> That's sounding like you're toasting my wife. Or am I hearing things? <laughs> Seriously, Jerry. Look, tell me. What is the secret? Seriously? What is it that you do? It's not like it's any big deal or anything like that. I mean, it's... I just take long walks. Um, I dance at least 20 minutes a day. Yeah. I eat very healthy, yeah, yeah. protein-based foods, and um, I talk to Greg frequently. <laughs> I talk to Greg. Yeah. yeah. So, so, what I'm hearing from you is you're not gobbing food every minute. No, like there's no. tank inside you. No. <laughs> okay, thank you. I'm going. Thank you so much for Thanks coming. Thanks for coming, man. Don't worry yourself. Thanks for coming, man. Oh, Mom. Julia. How oh. are you? I'm really grateful, Mom. That she brought me help as fast as she did. Whew. Heaven knows I need her ASAP. 
You sound so ex you've not even interviewed her yet and you sound so excited. You have to interview her first. Then if you don't want her, you don't have to keep her. But I hear she's a good level-headed girl. She looks okay to me. I'm sure I can manage her, however. Lord knows I can use some help around here. Mom, there's no time to even waste. So, do you want to tell me why the urgency? I hope your husband is okay with it all. He never wanted a meet right from the start, so I hope the two of you have agreed on the matter. Don't worry about it, Mom. We already had the conversation and it is good. Mm -hmm. As far as the urgency, I have to blog. After which I need to clean, mop, sweep, cook, and wash for me and edit. All he does is watch TV programs. I can't leave that live, Mom. I could use some help around here. And then I can't even go to bed. When I go to bed, he's on my case again. I can't. It's too much stress for one body in work. Your body? Your body? Hey? Julia, my daughter. You're pregnant. Hey! Mommy, I'm not pregnant. You, no. Who said anything about pregnancy? I'm not pregnant. Mm. So what are you complaining about? Hmm? Cleaning the house you're also living in. Taking care of your husband is tedious for you. Huh? My daughter, Julia. You're a married woman. Eh? Your husband and your home are yours to keep, take care of, and maintain. Mom, can you stop worrying? Hmm. You see, this is why I hate to discuss my marriage with you. You see how this ancient mentality of what a woman's ambition in life should be. To cater to her husband and children and cook for them. Times have changed, Mom. Men and women are equal. Everybody has a life to live. And I'm going to live it. Julia. Julia. Ah. <laughs> Did I raise you like this? Never. God knows I never raised you like this. <laughs> Something is definitely wrong somewhere. Tell me first. When was the last time you went to church? You and your husband. Last Sunday. Good. Good. Then allow God to lead you and teach you how to live as a wife. Everything you ever wanted to learn is all in the Bible. Eh? Submission, love, companionship, it's all in there. Mommy, there's no problem anymore. I don't need you worrying about something that's not an issue. I have a maid now. Problem solved and everybody's happy. I don't understand why you're still preaching. A maid cannot take the place of a wife, Julia. Don't use her unnecessarily. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Is everything alright here? Of course, my son. We are just having a little tete a tete about the girl. Oh. Uh, well, if there's any complaints about her, please let me know. Hmm? But uh, I pray she lives well with you both and fulfills the purpose for which he was brought in here in Jesus name. Amen. Uh, just give her a pep talk and let her rest for the night till tomorrow. Mm. She just came in from the village today. Oh, she must be really tired then. She can just go to bed till tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Sweetie, I can't let her spend the night in my house. She's a total stranger to me. I need to ask her a question or two. Mm -hmm. But it's getting late, Julia. You can talk to her tomorrow. Sorry, it won't take long. Hey, honey. How did you go? Did you miss me while you were away? I don't know. How was Greg? What did he say when you told him I couldn't make it? Nothing. And um, how is his wife, Anita? Oh, she, she's five months pregnant and she's never looked more beautiful. She doesn't have streams of saliva in her mouth and she still manages to look slim and sexy, making pregnancy look like the blessing it's supposed to be and not a curse. And if you needed to pass a point across to me, you think comparing me to someone else's wife was the best way to do it? Wake up, my wife! Wake up! You're not the only one pregnant. You're just four months pregnant. Look at you. 
Dominic, what do you know about pregnancy? No, enough to know that pregnancy is not synonymous to, 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 to laziness and, and, and gluttony. Oh, so I'm a glutton, right? You know what? Maybe I should eat less. Maybe I should eat less and let your child come out the size of a spoon taking your face. Maybe that will make you proud. Mm. So, at what age did you lose your virginity? Sweetie, is that really necessary? I think she's just going and rest till tomorrow. Sweetie, can you please stop? I need to know who I'm hiring. She's going to be living in my house. It's important I know how sexually active she is. Our house, you mean? She's going to be living in our house? Whatever it is. You know what I mean. Babes, I'm not saying you can't ask her questions, but I mean, she's obviously tired. Let her go in and rest. What is this about her being tired? Is she complaining to you about tiredness? Ah, uh ah. -uh. Fine. Sorry. Answer the question, young lady. No, I know if you remember. What do you mean you can't remember? That's not the kind of thing a girl forgets. It's very important to me to know how sexually active you are because you're going to be in my house. I'll let you put over the question tonight, but I want an answer tomorrow. And how much are you looking to get paid? Why don't you just tell her what you want to pay her? And why don't you just let me handle this edits? Leave me now. Okay. How much salary are you expecting? Um, we don't get money for our house. If your fee pay me up to 10,000, I could be happy now. Interesting. I'll pay you 20,000 naira and get you everything that you need. Your uniform's inclusive and generally change your life for good. All I need from you is just your loyalty. Understood? Thank you, ma. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Now listen to your job description. You're to wash, cook, and clean this entire house. Every bedroom, especially my bedroom. Especially our bedroom. Baby, I don't think she should come into our room to, you know, clean. What are you talking about, Edith? I'm the one paying her, so I have a right to tell her what I want her to do. No matter what it is, she's supposed to. No matter what it is. Sweetie, that's our bedroom. That's private area. I'm just not comfortable with the idea of having her come into the room to clean or anything. When you keep messing it up, what do you expect? I cannot keep cleaning it up and that's why I'm getting someone to do it. Alright then, go ahead and tell her what you want her to do. I have no right to talk again in my own house, Abby. Our house. Our house, Ede. Don't forget that. Yeah. You never wanted it made from the beginning. Now you won't be calling the shots. Isn't that something? Mother, it's my problem. Will you shut up? And don't you ever do that again. Can you be interfering when my husband and I are having an argument? Don't ever do that again. You're a maid, not a voice in this house. Sorry, I came down hard on you. I didn't mean it, it's just that I don't understand it. I can't seem to get it. Everything looks and, f and feels strange. It's confusing me.
Isn't it possible for us to disagree over something without keeping malice? You know I can't handle that. Mm? Baby. Baby. Sweetheart. Can you please not disturb me? Please, I want to sleep. This way, look. I'm not trying to fight. I just wanted us to talk. I think sometimes you should just honor me as your husband by letting me make decisions in matters that concern us. Or let me have a final say. Even if you feel you know better, you don't always have to have... You're so damn chauvinistic. You know? So, just listen to yourself. Listen to yourself. I should let you make decisions for us. Are we both not supposed to make decisions as equal partners in this marriage? Isn't that what it's supposed to be? Oh, I know. We're not equal partners. From your school of thought, you are the ogre at the top. While I am the slave that you married, who is supposed to be voiceless in the house, right? When did I ever say that? And by the way, what do you know about mates that makes you think you'll make a better decision than I, who's a woman? Besides, I pay her salary. Ah, enough already! You've probably mentioned that like a thousand times in the last few hours. What's wrong with you? Is your money getting to your head? So bloody what if you're the one paying her? So that condones any humane treatment you meet out to her? I can clearly see the slave-master relationship budding between you and her. And I can see that you want to fight. So I'll let you do it all by yourself. Good night. I could say the same thing for you. Listen, Julia, I'm not trying to fight. I just wanted us to talk. This was supposed to be a very special evening. We are already having a great time before Mama and that girl came in. Mm? Sweetie, talk to me. Don't touch me, Edith. Don't. Fine. Promise me you'll stay with me. We'll win this war. We'll fight for what we have. Sweetie, are you okay? You haven't spoken much today. Is everything all right? I'm good, honey. I just, I just have a lot on my mind, but I'll, I'll be fine. Okay. Uh, I hope I'm topmost on your mind, though. <laughs> Definitely, you are. Babe, I don't like the way you're sounding. I think there's, there's something wrong. What, what is it? Talk to me. Okay, you know what? Let me make you happy. Let me make you scream for joy. I'm hungry for you, my wife. Let me make you happy. As much as I appreciate what you do to make me happy. Not today, Edith. I'm still unsafe. What is wrong with you? What's with all the attitude? What exactly is wrong with you, Julia? What do you mean, what's wrong with me? I just told you I'm unsafe. You're getting worked up. Why are you getting mad over it? Why am I getting mad? What kind of married woman refuses to have sex with her husband because she's unsafe? Is it a crime for me to have sex with my wife during her unsafe periods? And get me pregnant? I thought we agreed to wait after marriage. We're not ready for kids, so... Point of correction. You are not ready for kids, not me. We agreed to wait for a year. This is two years. Two years plus. And you still want us to wait? For what? For me to grow grey hairs? Or for you to hit menopause? It's not a screaming matter, Edith. We agreed to wait after marriage. At this height of my career, I won't let pregnancy slow me down. And I'm not ready for that. Please, let's just wait till next year. Oga? Completely unbelievable, you know. It's as if I'm in this marriage all by myself. 
Everything is about you. Your body, your career, you, you, you. What I want doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter because that's the way you choose to see things. You're just being unreasonable. Whenever you want me to do things and I choose not to, you get mad and start screaming. Why can't you ever see things from my own perspective? Look, it's only normal that after marriage, a couple should start a family. Maybe I'm crazy, but that's the way it's structured. Two and a half years after marriage, and you're still worried about looking good for your career and maintaining your shape. Is there any married man out there that would accept that? I have to memorize the timetable of your safe and unsafe periods. And the times that you're safe, it's either you're too busy or too tired or just not in the mood after a little argument. Then maybe you should argue a little less often if you want to make love after. Look, Julia, why do you have to use sex as a weapon every time? Arguments don't have to be bitter. We don't have to go to bed angry after a little fight. You're not my girlfriend, you're my wife. My wife. Let's just, let's just stick to using a condom for now. Please. I don't have a bloody condom in this house. I'm a married man. I can see that something or someone is confusing Julia into thinking she has the right to postpone having children. Marriage was instituted so couples could multiply and fill the earth. I didn't see where it said after some years, Oabi. Wait, is it me or is it Julia that's getting this all wrong? Hmm. Mama, Mama, eh? that woman, eh? The woman is wonderful. Chai, all the ego. So, person day feel marry. Can't talk, say no one picking. Why not in doing womb? If you see her, man, hmm. all her money, she just they use and buy dresses, they use and buy shoes. She no one born, make any of her children, can't chop all her money. And the husband, they agree. Yeah. Me, I never see this kind of thing before. Chai, this is now more than generation to throw. Anyway, I happy for the money where she they pay you. And I thank God say I get picking with the end of the twenty thousand naira. <laughs> you see, if you fit work hard, eh, she fit in Christmas. Since they get plenty money now. Amen. Oh, amen. Amen to what? Like Oga, um, I've been they talk to my mama for phone. I know here when you enter, sir. Sorry, sir. You don't have to apologize for being caught unawares. You didn't do anything. Okay, sir. Okay. Uh, so what are we having? I want to make okang with cow legs, sir. Okang? Yes, sir. Wow. You make me remember home. I can't remember the last time I had okang. It's been three years or so. I can't wait. Thanks, Esther. Ah, no, sir. You don't need to thank me, sir. Now, my duty to cook for you, sir. Anything where you want, just tell me I go cook them for you, sir. That's good to know. Thank you, Esther. Sir, just go sit down. I go cook them. No, 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 no. I go bring them for you, sir. Thank you. All right, my dear. <sighs> thank you so much for coming, doctor. Thank you. That's okay. So, we're scheduled to meet for the 19th, I guess. Uh, uh, doctor. <sighs> Doctor, I don't know. What do I do about this eating? I'm beginning to. I, I'm, I'm piling on weight. <laughs> you just can't get over the salty, sugary, and the starchy things, right? <laughs> See, Mrs. Uko, don't stress yourself. You're pregnant. <laughs> when a pregnant woman needs to eat, she eats. Doctor, I eat when I don't even need to eat. Mrs. Uko, we have talked about this earlier on. But how about the other craving? Sorry, I don't understand. 
my husband won't have sex with me anymore. He says he doesn't want to hurt the baby. Sex at this stage of pregnancy for you, it's not harmful. Besides, I would strongly recommend it. Doctor, you need to say this again. Let me record it. That is my phone. I need you to say this. Oh, he needs to hear do, this. Do you, do you want me to talk to him? Please, I'd really love you to. Okay, fine. I'll call him. I'll talk to him. Thank you, doctor. <laughs> Thank you for Stay with me. We'll win this war. We'll fight for what we Oh, there you are, Esther. Uh, that was a delicious meal. Thank you very much. Thank okay? you, Oga. Yeah. Oga, I beg, I go put this one for your room. Oh, no, no. Just um, leave them on the ironing table. Uh, can I come and iron them later? No, sir. I don't iron everything, no. Really? Yes, sir. Wow, that's really good. You, uh, Esther, you're really impressing me. You're a very hard worker. Thank you, sir. Eh? You know what? I'm very happy with you. Today, let me just give you a little something, okay? Okay, sir. Here, yeah, take this. And buy a recharge card or something, okay? Ha, Oga, this is plenty you. No, don't worry. Thank you, oh. sir. God bless you, sir. Thank you to Esther. Thank eh? you, sir. Thank you. See the difference between a wife and a maid? I practically have to argue with my wife before I can get anything done in this house. Even in preparing my food. She nags about me wanting more garlic or more pepper. Says I'm selfish because she doesn't eat those. But you see now, with someone beneath you or someone who knows their place, it's easy. I ask for anything and she gets it done with the immediacy the chore deserves. See? And you wonder why some men prefer to swing the other way. Not that I will, but just so you know. I should get some painkillers for you when you come. No, no, no. I don't think it's just the pain relievers I need. You know when I just got pregnant, you used to give me a massage every week. I could really do it one right now. Okay. This cannot be what my father endured. Impossible. Here. Yeah. I can't wait for the happy ending. Oh, uh, wait, whoa, what now? No, no, no. There can be no happy ending. Now, we talked about this, if anyone. We can't have sex. We're going to hurt the baby. But Dr. Toji came by today and. I spoke with him about your concerns and he, he said specifically that sex is recommended at this stage in the pregnancy. Right. So, um, this isn't about hurting our unborn child, is it? It's really about how unattractive I've become and how much the opposite of sexy I am. Isn't it, Dominic? Look, listen, look, if anyone, there's nothing that's happened here. 
that were answering it is. All right? Really? I know how you used to look at me. I know the reactions I used to get from you. Now I see how you look at me. Uh -huh. You really think there's no cause for tears? Look, I think we had a lot pass, okay? It's just a face. It will pass. Stop crying. It won't pass, Dominic. It won't. You're my husband. And I, I want you. Is that a crime? No matter how Shh. horrible I have become in your sight, Shh. you're my husband. Come. No, we can't, we can't kiss. How am I supposed to get turned down? Please, Dominic. No, you know, this is going to be purely, purely for your own personal pleasure. Purely. And that's selfish. That's really selfish. Thank you. <laughs> I hope you're ready. So, however she turns out in pregnancy, you have to, you still have to do the do. <laughs> so better for worse, right? In my own case, for worse, for worst. Hello? Hey, Mama. I've been the call you to tell you what happened today. Oh, I was having my bath. Mwa, call me back. I don't have credit. Okay, okay. <sighs> Mama, hey. Mama, you know, say, my madam husband, he dashed me 5,000 naira today. Huh? Hey, Mama. He said, make I use and buy recharge card. These people, eh? They get money. 5,000 for recharge card. You say now your guy give you a being and your wife. No being wife, oh. That one, they dash me change anytime when I come back from market. This one, now your husband, he dash me 5,000 naira. He say he like the way we had they do my job. Now God give me this job, oh. Now God. Hey, mama. Hey, God, thank you. Mama, you know, say, if I continue to work well like this, I feel gather small money, make me forfeit complete that house where they village. Chai, I thank God, oh. I... That means say the man like you well, well, oh. Make you make sure, say, you take good care of him. Eh? Now, now you they cook cooking food. Make sure, say, the thing, they very delicious. So that, as they happy with you, even if you feel ask him big money, he go feel give you. Mama, I no feel ask him for money. Oh. Ah, what if he go tell that and wife? That woman go just sack me. No, I no ask him. Anytime we want dash me money, make it they dash me. Make I just leave him. I go just try my best. I go take care of the house, cooking meals. After all, now what did my madam employ me for be that? My daughter, do you remember the story of Esther in the Bible? <laughs> you are not bearing Esther by mistake. Oh. You are in that house to better your life and that of your family. Shine your eye. Hmm? I know, go, Mama. I will shine my eyes. Very good. Mm -hmm. DCK. Okay, Mama. Kachifo. Promise me you'll stay with me. We'll win this war. We'll fight for what we have. Oh, babe, I have to be in a butcher on Thursday. Mm, okay, what for? It's official. My boss leaves for London on Monday and 
I have to represent the company at the seminar in Abuja. So when are you going to be back? I'm supposed to be back on Thursday, but there's this event on Friday night, so I'll just be back on Saturday. Do you have to attend the event? Oh yes, honey, I have to. Ooh, I have to. I just have to. I can't afford to miss it. It's going to be a star-studded event. International footballers and showbiz icons. I'm really excited. Imagine the kind of content I will get for the blog and, of course, the contacts. Hmm. Content for the blog, eh? Mm-hmm. I'm really excited. I already ordered my dress from the UK, you know? Hmm. And then the Ivy I got, imagine people pay as much as 50 grand for that. Okay. I got it and I'm really excited. Can't wait to hit the red carpet. Can't wait. Hmm. So there's no going back, not even if I asked you to, yeah? Come on now, babe. I don't expect you would. This is my job, you know. And you knew how crazy and hectic it was when we got married, so please. Mbok. I am tired. Ah. Greg, I am tired. Listen, my brother. I will tell you what I have found out. In marriage, getting tired is just a little left or right turn in an exciting road trip of a lifetime. Exciting? Did you say exciting? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what I thought too before I married though. Even when I married if anyone. You know now, you know what we used to say? You know, all the fantasies we had, all the plans yeah. before, you know, for when we got married and things like that. Yeah. It's all gone. All gone. The exciting if anyone is finished. Gone. Reality. Come on, Dominic. Why or why or Biko? You need to exercise a little bit of patience with the Fengwa. You've already come this far. No patience. I don't even know where to choke the patience. I don't know where the patience should come from. Because even ordinary sex that uh, that, that that we used to, you know, it's a chore. I, I I no longer enjoy. I you know to get it up with her now, my brother. It's a miracle. Be like be like she had a tongue water to wine. Look. Okay, okay. Uh, wh why don't we, um, why don't I have Anita call your wife? And maybe they can talk this over woman to woman. Eh? Boy, I don't know. I don't know if that is going to do any good. I don't know if it will help. Which levels, my man? Which levels? I've always known you to be very optimistic. What did happen? Marriage. Marriage happened to me. Greg. Me too. The best thing that ever happened to me is having my sweet Anita all to myself. Sure. I did tell you. Also, Philip, tell me, how do you do it? Do what? You and Anita have been married much longer than I have, and you're expecting your second kid. Yet you, you guys still manage to have the hearts for each other. How do you do it? I have my ways, bro, but to summarize it, I say it's love. I love. Yeah, right. At the tape. I hear you. You know what? I'll send Anita a text to go see your wife. And maybe they can talk this out. Eh? Yeah. yeah. She obviously needs some talking to. I'm not getting through to her. She developed a thick skin. Dom, Dom, Domino! My God! <laughs> 
Oh boy, no what time. did do you? No time for healing, oh, Reg. So, why were you running away from me for so long? Even though I promised you that I'll take good care of you. Well, for so many reasons. For starters, I did not think that you were going to be a generous guy. I mean, after all, what's the point of being with a married man if you can't pay your bills, right? But you never tried. And uh, you forgot that I promoted your friend just because of you. Hmm? Still, you refused to be my girl. <clears throat> well, I'm here now, so you can continue showering me with all that love that you've been storing up for me. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm going to add more zeros to the ones I already gave you. Yes. Really? I will show you that I'm a man that keeps my word. Why, Mr. Pedro, mm. thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Um, do you have a valid UK visa? Uh, yeah, I do. Good, because I'll be traveling to London next week. And I want you to come with me. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes, yes, yes. Oh, baby, baby, please, please. Um, can I, please, mm, do a little shopping? Just to stock up my shop. Of course. Yes. <laughs> yes, 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 thank you. You can use one of my credit cards. You're my girl now, you know. Oh, baby, I'm loving you already. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you too. <sighs> this woman. Hmm? Why would this woman leave me alone? It's your wife. Yes. She must have gone to the office to look for me. Oh, she, um, let me answer her. Do you, have to, do you have to answer her right now? Yes, if I don't, it will get worse. <clears throat> Hello? Oh. Maria, why are you always so suspicious? I am having a meeting with some of my colleagues. What? Why do you want me to tell you the venue? Do what? Oh. Maria. Maria. Uh, please, you better respect yourself. Oh. Just respect yourself. Uh -uh. What is wrong with you? Don't you know that you are disgracing yourself and your husband? Look, I am begging you. Don't try that, please. Uh, seriously? No, 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 no. It, it, it's me alone. There's no one here with me. It's just the... Sound of the television set. Yes, yes. I'll join you soon. Soon. Why are you so terrified of your wife? Hmm? Are, you, are you not a man? Why is she so controlling of you? You don't know that woman. She is mad. Mm. And how long have you been married to this mad woman? Twelve years. Twelve years of madness. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Ah, look at you! Why should I look at me? It is you I want to look at. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. It's been ages. Where have you been? I've been there now. You refuse to come. Uh uh. And you see my condition now. Sure. Now you get condition. No be this condition I carry come your house. So. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> How 
How are you? I'm fine, dear. Ah, ah. How have you been? Good, though. Anita, I'm so, so happy you came home. Honestly, I'm mm. so happy to see you. Since Mohammed, we not come to the mountain. The mountain has to come to Mohammed. Last time I hoped I'll see you was at my anniversary, but for where? You show face. I don't see your brake lights. Mm. <laughs> Anita, it's not like that mm. now. Uh -uh. She may have apologized. Besides the day of your anniversary, I was in serious pain. As, no, seriously, I had pains all over my feet, everywhere. Eh. Ah. Your husband said it too. Well, I said you were a little bit indisposed, but he didn't, um, he didn't sound like it was anything serious. Mm. Are you okay? Ah, I'm fine. What would I do? What's the matter, babe? It's Dominic. It's Dominic. You know, I, I've just finally concluded that he never really loved me. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, 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 babe, don't talk like that. Dominic. No, 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 no. Serious. Come on, Dominic. How can you say your wife is a problem in your life? I'm not lying to you. I'm serious. She is. Okay, what has she really done to you? She has taken away the infant you are new. Look, look at me. I call me vain, oh. Call me selfish. But I am what I am. And you know me. You know me, Greg. You know that I like a beautiful, sexy woman any day. I waited. I went for a fair and while because she was beautiful and sexy. I mean, the fair and one knows. But with her eyes wide open, she has let this pregnancy turn her into an ugly duck. I won't lie to you. I can't even look at her. I can't stand the sight of that woman. Guy, I can't. Don't be so now, guy. Now so. Now so. What are you saying, if anyone? I'm serious, Anita. He can't stand being close to me. I feel it all the time. He acts like I repel him. He won't touch me. I can't even remember last time we had sex. I mean, I practically have to force him. Last time, it, it was like he was just indifferent to my presence. Getting him turned on was, was a chore. Oh. It's okay, it's okay, darling. These things happen. This happened to you and Greg? <laughs> no, not, not with me and Greg, but I know a couple of people who have... Wait, wait. Greg still makes love to you like this? Greg can't seem to get enough of me. Like hey! Mm -hmm. I can swing this my market. No, they still market there. Sorry. Oh, God. Hey, sorry, sorry. Ah, Dominic. I'm finished. No. Hey. Don't, don't, don't. It's obvious you cannot get enough of Anita. <laughs> well, I don't blame you. She looks even hotter than I remember. I mean, the pregnancy has made her even more smashing. Different strokes, different folks. <laughs> it wasn't like this the first time she got pregnant. Though. I had to step in fast and make necessary changes. But you see, damn my man, this time when they are pregnant is when they need us the most. You know now, our attention, our love, these things alone self can help them handle themselves better. Which is what I think may be wrong with Ifeinwa. Uh, yeah, right. Ifeinwa is obviously mishandling herself. It makes me nervous. 
I know. And self-conscious too. It's okay, darling. You, you just need to take charge. Take charge. Of, step up and, and save your marriage. How? What do you mean? You know your husband, if anyone. I've heard a couple of things from Greg and I've also observed Dominic myself. Dominic is the kind of man who loves to show off his wife. And just like Greg, he wants the whole world to see that he sleeps on the same bed every night. One of the most stunning women on the side of the Sahara. And seeing you like this is a bit too much. What's wrong with, what's wrong with the way I look? I'm pregnant with his child, that's all. Yes, darling, but you still need to take charge. I mean, those things you talked about, the eating binge, the spitting, even the weight. I, I know it's difficult to contain, it's a lot to contain, but tiny drops of control, baby, and we'll have an ocean full of results. I mean, it's like, I can't seem to control myself. How do you manage it? I have Greg's support, with his support, I guess. But even without your husband's support, you can do it yourself. And in doing so, you force his support and his attention. Listen, darling, why don't you guys come over to our house? Perhaps we should form a support group, you know, to help each other through this. Okay. Girl, this thing with you and my boss, I'm seriously not down with it. Really, I'm not. I mean, you've held out for this long. Why fall into it now? I told you I was broke. I need to stock up my shop. People, they owe me. Most of my customers haven't paid up. And a girl's got to survive, you know? Hey, guess how much you gave me yesterday? I'm still talking about the situation. You're telling me of how much you gave you already. I beg you. Oh, look, the deed has already been done, okay? So can you please move on and stop flogging a dead horse already? Besides, with what that guy is giving me, I can't even stop. Let me just tell you now. Except you want me to be lying to you. Babe, stop dulling my groove, Jerry. Guess how much you gave me? Guess now. How much? 800 grand. <laughs> Babe, 800k is sitting cushy in my account for my first meeting with him. Well, technically from my first quonking with him, if you get what I mean. <laughs> Can't damn it. That guy, let's say they drink energy drink per second, per second. I <laughs> see the look on your face. <laughs> oh, that's not all. I'm going to London with him next week. Shopping things are gone, baby. You're going to London? Mm-hmm. Don't you think you're moving a little too fast for this thing? I mean... When does it end, really? This sex appades and things that you have going on, when does it end? You don't need old though. Can't you get something more, you know, permanent or promising, you know? But someone single that's not someone else's something. You know they tire. I don't mean to sound harsh, oh, but... Jules, what thing be all this one now? Uh -huh. Why you suddenly become like this? I've been in a marriage and I bring all this rubbish. Look. I don't go after these men, okay? They come after me. Besides, I've actually tried to stay in a committed relationship, severally, but what happens? I always end up getting my heart broken and you know all the gory details. Please, look, right now, I'm loving my life and all the choices that I'm making. Bottom line is, I'm happy. Besides, there are no single men anymore in this town. No? I mean, they either have one serious girlfriend or one fiancé somewhere decide that they will eventually leave me for. I actually do have somebody for you. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's very good looking and he currently doesn't have a girlfriend. Now so? How do you know he doesn't have a girlfriend? I know now. I'll tell you his name in a sexy way. So you already start tripping. Matthias. What? Matthias. Hey baby. I thought about you today. Me too. You did? What did you think about? Okay, I'll go first. Um, I imagined us in um, the Cayman Islands or somewhere exotic. 
No pregnancies, no babies, just us. Greg sends him his greetings. I saw him today. Okay. Um, coincidentally, Anita was here as well. Did you see Anita? Yes, she was here. I saw her. Good. Meaning what? Nothing. Don't Nick. Did she share any tips with you on how not to let pregnancy deform you? Deform me? Oh, no, I didn't. I didn't mean it that way. Okay. I'll try to make it sound differently in my mind. Promise me you'll stay with me. We'll win this war. We'll fight for what we have. off now. Oh, okay. So till Saturday then, yeah? Yep, till Saturday. And don't worry, Esther's gonna make sure you have good food to eat so you won't miss me that much. Okay? Really? Mm-hmm. I mean, why else would you miss me if you have food to eat? Oh, I know. It's your other kind of food for the soul. I'll make it up to you, honey, when I get back. I promise. Okay. Oh, how excited I am. Julia, is it that you have no idea what a wife is supposed to be to her husband? So if Esther makes me food that covers for everything my wife is supposed to be and do for me, sometimes you amaze me when you talk. You just sound so insensitive. It's funny how I am the insensitive one when you are the one trying to start a fight just when I'm about to travel. How very sensitive in your part. Esther! I'm leaving now. Make sure you cook all the things I say you should cook and give my husband food on time. Okay? Yes, sir. If there's anything else, just call me. I'll be back on Saturday. Bye. 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 Now, may God grant us exciting parenthood. Amen. Bon appétit. Bon ami. Uh, it's bon appétit, mes amis. <laughs> right, darling? Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> bon your tea. This is me. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What's the plan here? What's, what's, what's all this? Are you planning to feed us that we can't eat today? Ah, before we go. <laughs> I wish. Help yourselves, darling. That, that, that way, you, you guys will just move into the spare room and we can have a party all weekend. <laughs> yeah, right. Two husbands and their pregnant wives. <laughs> what the party that shall be. Confirm. Your head is there indeed. <laughs> Please, take more, take more. <laughs> you like it? Mm -hmm. Very nice. It's not plantain. I mean the shrimp. Yes, we take a little bit. Do you, do you know? Yeah, as well, it's okay. 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 Guy. Thank you, darling. You're welcome. <laughs> Should I dish something? 
No, I'm okay. I'll, I'll just I'll just take a drink. Okay. I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> Mm, protein. Oh, you know that. Mm. This is just lovely. Mm -hmm. Thank you, darling. Yeah, yeah so I sent the mail to him yesterday. Okay. Um, I should get a reply from him soon. Once I get a reply, I can now call the vendors and discuss terms with them. We should be done with this by Monday. That's good. So, the faster we get this done with, better for all of us. Definitely, definitely. That's, that's bad for us now. You know now. Monday, right? By God's grace. Great. <sighs> Meanwhile, <sighs> Meeting. how far now? Wait, what? Wife you now, she not cook a dick eco. I need some him. home cooked meal, guys. My friend, come on, get out. Go and get married. You <laughs> Which can't home cook meal if I hear. Ah, ah. I want for you, this guy, sir. Good afternoon, Good afternoon, Good afternoon. Esther. How are you? Mm. Guy, I still there. Oh, sorry, Jerry. What were you saying? Oh, no, wow. I didn't ask now, I say, wifey, she cook it the guy Oh, uh, Julia has traveled though. But guy come, check this out. Huh? Julia's cooking is nowhere near this maid's cooking. <laughs> On point. <laughs> oh, child. You're serious? You won't believe it. Where will I say this maid from? Nah, Julia, mama, bring her home. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Man. I need some chicken to be cooked like that. So, Joy, <sighs> Joy help my ministry smaller. You know, you Joy, know, I'm Joy. <sighs> you know, I don't eat fat. Are they saying, are they sure? I know. Well, you go, you just call her quick now. Maybe she just warm something quickly now. Yeah, no water, no water. So, be no water. Now, now this drink now, one chop. I do now. You go, I know. Let Julia here say, they talk, say, may the cook pass out. Ah, no deal. I beg, I beg, I beg. It's not like she's been cooking for me lately, though. Ah. Esther! Oga! Please come. My friend is hungry, yeah? Uh, so, can you prepare something for both of us, please? Okay, sir. I won't make a dick icon, sir. A dick icon? Esther, you're in the spirit. That's exactly what you asked for. Huh? No worries, sir. I go make and well. You go sweet well. Yes, sir. I don't know. Well Thank done. you very much. Go and prepare it. How did hey. I tell you? You see, to me. die for man. Ah, huh. me. She now you see why a lot of men still go back to marry the village women. Guy, I tell you. See, who wouldn't be happy coming home every evening to this kind of great meal? Bam! Right there. Ah, right there. Me. Man, I have you. <laughs> you know when you told me she was a great cook? I thought you were joking now. Nah, bro. That's the nah. best day the guy could have tasted in a long time. Don't let me say I told you so. Ooh. Damn. <sighs> you know, who wouldn't be happy? No, tell me now, who wouldn't be happy? <laughs> now I understand why lots of men get married to women from the village. You heard that right didn't come from me, did it? Funny enough, great cooking was one of the reasons I married Julia. She was a great cook, she was great in bed. She had a great sense of humor. She loved God. <laughs> Guy, I don't need a soothsayer to make me understand that things between you and Julia are not so rosy. That obvious, huh? <laughs> For starters, everything you just said about her was in past tense. Come on now. That's a sign that it's it's huge, man. Everything has gone wrong. Yeah, man. I just don't know. Every time I try talking to her, she fires back and it ends up in a fight. Every single time. Wait, wait. Did you try finding out why she has changed this much? I don't know. I guess, I guess her career has taken precedence over <sighs> me and our marriage. 
decided to let her do her thing, you know? <laughs> you know, I was this close to getting married and settling down right immediately after you guys got married. I mean, it was awesome. I saw you guys now looking all beautiful. You guys were happy. Darling, you know, if you get it out already, it might do you some good. Exactly. I think this pregnancy has made you useless, irresponsible, and lazy. And, and I'm regretting ever asking you to quit your job. Oh, now you regret it. I thought you did it because I love my wife, and I wouldn't have that law firm stressing her silly in this condition. But how was I supposed to know that this condition will make you pile on a whopping 50 kilos in less than three months? See how you were eating at Anita's place? Did you see Anita? She cooked the food, she served it, yet she was watching what was going into her mouth. But you, no, oh, you were just gulping everything. Look at you getting bigger by the second. But what have you done about it, other than rant and nag? What am I supposed to do about it? I mean, don't, don't you look at you, do you like yourself like this? Don't you love yourself? Can I love you more than you love yourself? If I did you see Anita? Did you see her? Yes, yes. I saw Anita. She is pregnant and hot. I am pregnant and I look like a dog. Leave me like that. You know what? Let's not even pretend this is working anymore. All right? Let's, let's not pretend. And all that me trying to smush my wife in public PDA crap. I was playing at sex. No more. What are you trying to say, Dominic? Can you remember the last time we had what was supposed to be sex? Yes. I don't want to ever remember my sex life like that. And I know you don't either. Okay. So I suggest we, we lay off sex for, for a while. At least until after the baby is, is born. Sure. Whatever makes you happy. Yeah, sure. Thanks. Wait, like seriously, Dominic. Are you serious? What do you mean, like seriously? You're saying that we should stay off sex until after I give birth? You have a problem with that? Dominic, you do know that my due date is at least five months away. So really? You look like it's tomorrow. No, it's not. It's five months away. Okay. And what are you going to do for sex in all that time? Nothing. Waiting. Really? Oh, you think I can't wait for five months without sex? Well, listen, let me tell you, before I met you, I waited for eight months without sex. So five months is, is nothing. You... Yeah. Okay, somebody they forget. They look for you. Carry pass. Okay, I'll, I'll get it. Let's start a greet. I, I said they greet. Why you they greet me? Now greet, I greet you. I beg, come on, come on from this place. I'm out for you. Come on, greet you. No fear. I beg, answer. get out, Joe. Good 
Darling, you're back. That was fast. <clears throat> Tony. What? What's happening? I mean, what's going on? What are you talking about? Tony, I'm talking about us. What's happening to us? I mean, you made that thread two months ago and you stuck by it. Don't I arouse you? No. What are you talking about? Don't we, don't we sleep together in the same bed every night? But what has that done for our relationship? We sleep like strangers in the same bed and that's it? I don't clean your room. I don't finish. Mm, okay. Oga, anything there where you want me to do for you? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, Oga. I won't go back to sleep, sir. Yes, come in. Mr. Oko. Dominic, how many times am I supposed to tell you I love her? Okay, Dominic, I really wanted to thank you for what you did at the meeting. If you hadn't spoken at the very time you did, I'm so sure I would have been in Andy's bad books right now. Come on, it's nothing. You remember my team? I consider it my responsibility to look out for you. And for your information, MD has no bad books. Ask accounts. It's bad for business. Okay. Thank you. Come on. Don't tell me that's why you came from third floor to tell me. Are you alright? Sure. Don't I look alright? Actually, you look great. You look like Nicki Minaj. You should be taking in this selfies now. You were a bit distracted at the meeting. Is everything okay? How's your father? Is he out to help you too? My dad needs prayers, Sir really? Dominic. In fact, just about seven minutes to the meeting, my mom called to say he lost consciousness. Are you serious? Yeah. I'm oh, sorry. Immediately it's five. I'll have to rush up there. Well, we'll wait till five. Why not go now? Now? Like right now? Yeah. I'm still working on that ministry file. Okay. Only happy staff can do good work. I'm sure Thomas and Mr. Lau can look after that. You need to go and check up on him. All right? And take the rest of the day off. Thank you, Mr. Dominic. Let me know how it's going, okay? Thank you so much. So, Thank you. I almost forgot to ask. Yeah. How is your pretty wife, sir? Okay then. Bye. Thank you. Oh. She. 
babe, I'm telling you, no one has ever treated me this, this way before, ever. <laughs> I had the best time of my life in London. You know, I actually thought this was going to be a fling, but and after all this spending and pampering, I'm actually starting to like the guy. <laughs> eh? You are what? Are you listening to yourself, girl? This is someone else's husband, though. Are you even thinking of the fact that you'll be married someday? You and who is getting married? What, with all the crap that is going on in marriages? <sighs> Every married friend I have is having one marital problem or another. And then, <laughs> the divorce rate in this country is like, at an alarming height. Doesn't that tell you something? It tells me that we're all humans. Everybody makes mistakes. Couples quarrel and make up. Promises are broken and, you know, we're taking... But all humans, these things are inevitable in marriage. It's not a good enough reason for you to give up a marriage, girl. You need to stop this committing fornication and be adultery. Get a life, girl. What does that tell you? What it tells me is that marriage is not a do or die affair. Okay? I've said this before. I'd rather be alone than unhappy. Thank you very much. I bet more the good job. Ah, Ekaite, calm down. We will finish this young. It's not cool what you're doing. There's still a lot of good marriages out there. Don't give up because of a few bad ones, you know. Mm. I beg. <laughs> Babe, please. This is a very beautiful day. Tell me something else, I beg. You know what? If you'll be honest with yourself, you will admit that you are much more happier when you were single than now that you're married. I be a delay. Oh, -ho. you see? Anyways, leave that matter. I will bring for you the stuff that I bought for you from London. Oh, <laughs> I'm telling you, premium quality stuff. But Omo, when your boss, they, they spend money like water. Uh -uh. If you know how much I spent. What are you looking for? Who is that? It's my boss's wife. Hi, Julia. It's good I'm seeing you here. Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon, Julia. Is my husband in the office? Uh, I don't think so. I doubt that. Okay. Since you're here, I've been meaning to ask you, do you know the girl my husband traveled with to London? I have no way of knowing these things, ma. I mean, he wouldn't even tell me if at all it happened. If at all it happened? As if you don't know he's a dog. I'm telling you, my friend in London called me to say he saw him with one dark, slim, tall lady. And you're telling me if at all it's happened. Julia, if you know anything, you better tell me. I will. You know it's my money that started this company. And I'm indirectly your employer. Even though the crook has smarted me and didn't put my name anywhere. If you know anything, you better tell me. I will. <laughs> I promise. And if you know anything, you better tell the girl. Because if I catch her. <laughs> you put me in the office now. I'm a mad woman. If I catch her. <laughs> All right. Meanwhile. Is this your friend? Uh, yes. She is. Hello. Friend. Your friend, Ekwa? Mm. Your friend. Okay. Oh my God. How in God's green earth did he marry that monster? Are you asking a question? Such an uncouth and unladylike woman. Ah, oh wow. Why did she have to come here today of all days? Girl, you should be more concerned with ending that nonsense that you have with her husband. You don't have what it takes to fight this woman. I'm warning you, this is from trouble. You won't hear. Babe, she will never find out because you okay. have my back. You'll be shocked. Down, I've locked the door. She won't catch us. Oh Esther. <laughs> hey, see, baby. Hi, babe. Why did you lock the door now? Must I come back and knock on the door before I enter my own house again? You've made it a habit to complain about one thing or the other once you step in from work. Must you complain? I'm not complaining. I'm only asking a simple question. Why lock the door when we have such a huge gate that's, that's always locked to this compound? Esther! Ma? Ma? Good, good afternoon, ma. Welcome, ma. 
What are you wearing? Can't you talk? My uniform, ma. He did the thing, ma. And you couldn't wash them? Babes, it's okay now. Ah, let her wear this. That uniform thing reminds me of slavery. Edit, please. Mm -mm. Let her wear mufti. It's okay. Don't ever try it again. I don't want to see it again. Yes, ma. And don't you lock the gate when you know I'm on my way home from work. Yes, ma. Get me something to eat. Yes, ma. You got a new phone? No. Why? Of course you got a new phone. That's it right there on the table. Oh, I didn't I didn't see it. Uh, uh, I don't know who owns it. How can you not see something that's obviously sitting there? Ha -ha. Why are you denying you got a phone? Who else can buy such an expensive phone in this house? Julia, why are you badgering me with so many questions? Why don't you just call Esther and ask her whose phone it is? Esther. Esther! Ma? Whose phone is this? Not my phone, ma. Now you're full. How is it possible that you can afford such an expensive phone for yourself? Who be me, Bayama? Then who bought it? Now my friend, Bayama. What friend? Answer me, what friend bought you this phone? My boyfriend, ma. Oh, you have a boyfriend. And he bought you such an expensive phone. So why did you leave it here? I've been there clean for afternoon, ma. So I, I forget. I'm sorry, ma. Bye, ladies. Bye. Yeah. Thanks so much for the meal. Mm. Oh, my, that was good. Okay, babe. Now I'm officially concerned. What's up with you now? Huh? You haven't even touched your food. What's going on? Talk to me. Okay, I don't want to believe it, but... I think my husband just bought my maid phone. Huh? Yes. I asked him about it, but he denied it, obviously. <laughs> I went to bed and I played this whole scenario in my head, but something was fishy. <laughs> something is definitely up. Chai! Men. So your sweet edit has finally caved into the Manhood disease. It's still a suspicion. <laughs> Don't go nailing him just yet. It's still a suspicion. <laughs> Babe, calm down, I beg. These things can easily be found out. Have you asked the stupid girl? I did, oh. And guess what she told me? What? That her boyfriend bought it for her. Which stupid boyfriend? Which kind of your boyfriend? How much does he earn? <laughs> you know that's your story, right? Obviously. I even went as far as searching for the receipts in his room. I searched for in his wallets, in his work bag, and I couldn't find it. I'm sure he gave it to her to put it in her room, because he obviously wouldn't throw out the receipt. Eh uh -huh. send the idiot on an errand and search her room properly. I'm sure you to be there somewhere. Okay, this has to be a joke. It has to be me just imagining things. <laughs> it has to be an imagination, because if my husband is actually doing what I think he is, <laughs> mm. The mere thought of it drove me wild. I couldn't sleep last night. Ah. <laughs> but don't lose sleep over this, though. Okay? Don't. You better brace yourself. 
Because it is very obvious that your husband bought her that phone. And that only indicates one thing. Don't push it. Please, don't push it. It's still a suspicion. <laughs> oh, really? My dear, the signals are already there. Okay, but let me not add to your worry. Bele, take it easy, all right? <sighs> I, on the other hand, have a smooshing to attend to. What smooshing? This girl, you don't listen. I've told you, end this thing. Nothing good can come out of it. Look for a single guy to date. How hard can that be? Okay, and I've told you to stop worrying about me. Look, it's not like I'm dating this guy forever. He can't marry me or anything like that, <sighs> all right? I'm just with him right now because I need to get financially solid, okay? And then I'll move on with my life. Besides, no single guys are toasting me right now. So, you are actually wrong. I do have somebody for you. Who? That's your husband's colleague you were telling me about. Oh, so I already told you about him. Yeah. Yeah, that guy. He's good, at least. Okay, just go on a date with him. Just once. Okay. Should, okay. I'll make it easier for you. We'll make it a double date. Does that work for you? Fine, fine. fine. Okay, okay. okay. Um, stop wasting my time, please. I need to go and knock this guy and get out of here sharply, please. I have a client coming to my shop at 3 o'clock. Yo, yo. Ah. Bye, baby. Whatever. Eat your food. Madam, good afternoon, ma. Sorry, ma, you come early, ma. Esther, were those your legs I just saw crossed on my table like that? No, ma. Um, yes, ma. Sorry, ma. I did tie. I say, make I just sit down. You're very stupid. You're very, very stupid. Come on, get out of here! What's all the noise? What rubbish? Do I need a special location to come back to my own house? Or did I ruin your plans for the evening by coming home early? What's that supposed to mean? Do I know? Does it mean something to you? Dominic, you yes. didn't finish the small semo I made for you. What, you don't like the soup? The soup is okay. I, I was just full. Mm -hmm. How long am I supposed to continue like this? What is the matter again? Please stop asking me what is the matter as if all is well. And I just like to talk empty breeze and nothingness. All is not well and I'm unhappy. Oh, yeah? Dominic, I'm your wife. I'm not a widow. I need my husband. And I need my wife. What does that even mean? Look, if I, well, we talked about it yesterday. We talked about it a few days ago, the other day. And we will keep talking about it until you give me a sane explanation. What is it? I don't appeal to you anymore, Dominic. Eh? One day you say one thing, the next day you say another, nothing makes sense to me anymore. But maybe the truth will. Are you trying to say that I've been lying to you? No. I'm only saying just tell me the truth. What is the real reason you wouldn't, you wouldn't come near me, you wouldn't touch me? This isn't really happening. Yes, it is. Yes, it sure is. I mean, I, I see the way you look at other women in church. The other day that lady down the road came here with a flimsy excuse. I'm so all in a bit to see you. Just, just tell me. Tell you what, if anyone. Tell me you're in love with someone else. Or that I suddenly lack the, the biological composition of womanhood to, to, to arouse you or, or excite you or, or appeal to you. Just tell me. Yeah.
room service. Uh, please, can I have a bottle of champagne and uh, uh, just a minute? What will it be? Um, they can send over some finger food, maybe some samosa. All right. Uh, hello? Uh, some samosa, please. Make it quick. Thank you. So, where were we? We were with you being very appreciative of me showing up. Johnson Pedro, I saw you under this hotel with that cheap slot. So open this door now. Open this door, Johnson. That is your wife. How does she know that you're here? Oh my God. Open this door, Johnson. Please, calm down. She cannot break the door. Your wife is crazy. Okay, this is crazy. Does she have a tracker on your phone? How does she know that you're here? This... Oh my God. Oh, this is so embarrassing. Maria, Maria, go home now. Otherwise, security will come and bundle you out. Before security comes to bundle me out, Josie, open this door. Open this door, you shameless egot. Open this door now. Maria, be a good girl and go home now. I'll join you soon. I should be a good girl and go home. You will join me soon, right? I will go home. I will go home. You'll know me now. Don't see you know me. Oh. You'll meet me at home. You'll meet me at home. Shameless he goes. Shameless he goes. Useless man. Onyara. Hmm. <sighs> this is crazy. Okay, I can't. No, I can't do this. Oh. I, can't, I can't see you anymore, please. I can't do it. Hey, mm -mm, mm -mm. don't say that. I have handled the situation. She has gone. Hasn't she? <sighs> oh. This, this is madness. I go to London, she knows. I come to a discreet hotel, she knows. Is she clairvoyant? Ah! No, 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 please, I beg go. Before somebody will send dogs to my house. Uh, please, please, my darling, please. I told you, everything is under control. She's gone, right? No, now everything, my girl. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. baby, everything is not under control. Everything is not under control. You have, you, that, that is madness, okay? Your wife is crazy, she's out of control, and you can't handle it. I, ha I have to consider my safety, seriously. My darling, I want you to know that. I want you to know that I love you. I want to take very good care of you, please. Look, I know that you can take care of me. That's, that's not what I'm worried about. Okay, I'm, I'm worried about my safety. Okay, this is, this is the situation that you can't seem to control. I have to think about myself. Shh. Nothing will happen to you. Hmm? Now tell me, what do you want me to do for you? Hmm? Come on, what does my baby want me to do for her? What will I do to make you happy? Hmm? <laughs> okay, fine. Hmm. <laughs> Just that. <laughs> okay. Done. Don't tease me. I'm not teasing you. It's a done deal. Really? Really. <laughs> well then. Where were we? Where were we? Exactly. Where were we? I think you were appreciating the fact yes. that I showed up. Well, yes. Mm. I'm telling you that you are the very... Mm. Mm. Is it now? It's nothing. I'm busy as you can see. Must you always bring work home? I don't know what you want me to do. There's just so much to do and I don't understand why you have a problem with the fact that I have to get my work done. Because you're always too busy for me these days. Are you having an affair? <laughs> Please edit. That's something I would never even think of, so don't bring it up. Uh -uh. Why is it so hard for you to understand that a woman has work to do and I have to get them done? Okay, okay. I'm sorry, yeah? I'm sorry, babe. I did stop now. You're irritating me. Wait. 
I'm irritating you. I'm irritating. Not you. Your touches. Ah, I need to concentrate. Okay, oh, madam. Remind me never to touch you again when you're, when you're busy or you're working. Hey, boss. That was my man. <laughs> How are you? Did you have a good day? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm great. The department is happy. You are happy, and Tommy is happy. <laughs> it's funny, man. Yes, sir. Um, so, I was thinking, can, can I buy you a drink, sir? At least before we go back home and play doting husbands, you know, born to make our wives happy. <laughs> Thomas, you're married. Yes, I, I, I've been married for four years now, sir. Uh, my wife, she's a, she's a PG student at the University of Ibadan, sir. Ah. Well, I, I don't wear my ring, she doesn't, she doesn't mind. <laughs> really? Yes, sir. Oh, well, that's good. All right, sir. Thomas, is it your plan to get me drunk or something? <laughs> oh, no, sir, no, no. Do you want something from me? Oh, no, 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 sir. I'm, I'm good like this, you know. Actually, uh, this is how I catch my phone before I get home. Running away from something at no, home? No, 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 sir. No, at all. On the contrary, I... I'm getting ready for something at home. Good to know. The wife? Yes, boss. My wife. Every time I get that special message that reads, Missing you, get back home soon. <laughs> I get ready for the battle later tonight. Good to know. Yes, boss. You know, you got to keep the wife happy, you know? <laughs> happy wife is a happy life. Uh, that's the gospel truth, and I want to be happy. You're right. A man has got to be happy. To make my wife happy, I do one thing, and one thing only, I give. A man's got to give to his wife. Oh yeah, I give her. When she's happy, when I'm happy, I give her. When I'm upset with her, I give her. Even when she does not need it, I still give her all she needs. Money, material things, happy times together. Laughter, oh, that is very important. And of course, that emotional food that makes her special all the time. Uncountable opposites. <laughs> that uh, is non-negotiable. I mean, if, if, if your wife has all this, what, what, what does she need? Tell me, I mean, what does she need? She has... Tons of uh, divorced friends, family, colleagues, all running mad from their husbands. But she... She's... She has uncountable... Uncountable shades of pure bliss. I mean, I'm patient with her. And I try to understand her. Yeah. Patience and understanding. Two things I've often prayed for, yet never received. Well, sir, patience and understanding are two things you do not receive, only achieve. Part of me, part of me screams that I should uh, be patient with the thing and. Uh, Try to understand her. Yet another part of me screams even louder. That, mm. that it's impossible to achieve. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, woman, you know how, how, it's, how it's hard to. Oh, Mr. Yeah. G, um, I, I hate to bust your bubble, sir, but understanding actually originates from the bedroom. You know what I mean? If you don't mind me asking, sir, 
How are you guys in that department, if that's okay with you, sir? I haven't slept with my wife in months. Mother Teresa? <laughs> that's a good one. You're kidding, right, Mr. D? <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. Then you are a ticking time bomb. And I pray I'm at least a thousand miles away the day you go off. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> oh, Lord. Mr. D, I am all about happy homes. You know, in, you can call me the marriage activist. Yeah. Right. And, sir, I'm serious. You have to go back to giving your wife the way it used to be in the beginning. I assume that's how it used to be. You, you have to go back to her. It can't stop now. I mean, that's what marriage dreams are made of. At least the semblance of it. But the only way you can make her happy without placing any unreasonable expectations or having any unreasonable demands is if you, sir, are happy and fired up yourself. And your happiness, sir, comes from external body parts. Any size and shape of your choosing. And eventually when you meet your wife, Are you crazy? <laughs> yeah, nah, strike that. Of course you're crazy. <laughs> oh, sir, please. I, I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. Please don't take me serious, so I beg. <laughs> to shit. Yes. You're sleeping with her, aren't you? Oh, please don't give me that look. You know damn well what I'm talking about. When was the last time we had sex? And you can't tell me you haven't been with anyone in all that time. I'm not sleeping with anyone. You are not what? I said I am not sleeping with anyone. Dominic, I saw the picture you posted now. I saw the way she rested on you. You are her boss. Her handsome boss who smiles sheepishly at her every time. She must like you. I mean, she's pretty too. Great boobs, I noticed. You must like her a lot. Tell me I'm right, Dom. If I slept with other girls I like, by the end of the year, I'd have slept with more girls than, than even the Beijing conference could assemble. It's not my style. Really? Your food is ready. Look here now. You know what I think? I think you need some help around the house. I think we should get a, a house help. What do you say? I say I'll think about it. So, you actually deal on unisex items or you have just female clothing store? Oh, no, it's all unisex. I mean, I stock a lot of designer outfits. You should come around. I'm I, sure you'll find something that you'd like. Wow, I sure will, mademoiselle. <sighs> and um, while we're at it, I could actually get your number so I could call you before coming, yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so... That's it. You have to. How do you save that? Where? Yeah, yeah, just save it here. Okay. And then I'll, I'll probably give a call so that you will be able okay. to have mine too. All right. So, okay. Oh, just excuse me for okay, a second. Okay, no problem. Because I have to go right now. There's something urgent I need to attend to at home. Wait, wait, wait. Why are you rushing off? 
There's something urgent I need to take care of. Waiting. Talk to me now. She ate it on the phone. I suspected something was going on. Okay. And then I called Esther's line and behold, it was busy. So she actually calls my husband. Imagine that. She has the nerve to call him. Oh, man. I need to go and fix this. That little bitch. Wait, wait, wait. Do you want me to come with you? No, 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 no. I got this. I got this. I'll take care of it. First, I will smash that useless phone she wants to use to wreck my home. And then I will throw her out of my house today. Mm. Imagine wait. that. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. wait, wait. I, I don't think that's the best course of action. In fact, I'm thinking that you should plan on catching them red-handed. That way you actually have something on him because as it is now, he can, he can just deny that it wasn't her. Do you get what I'm saying? Babe, babe, let me, let me sort this. I'll go through her phone log now. I'll check her call log and her time. Let me sort this out my way. Mm, wait, 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 wait. Something just occurred to me. Wait, wait. You can't do that. Because he, he might even tell her that after the phone call, she should delete the call on the other end. You can't do that. Just calm down. Listen, I know how to handle this situation. Do you trust me? Hmm? Just do what I tell you. Calm down. That village girl. Calm down, babe. Don't worry. Hi. Don't worry. Just trust me. We'll handle the situation. <sighs> just act like nothing happened. You know, just okay. let's just let's just chill. Alright? No, we'll deal with it later. No yeah? Uh yeah, so have you been able to spell my name correctly? Because yes. a lot of people don't get it. <laughs> and I don't have an English name, so you have to get it right. <laughs> okay, just check it out. Okay. Ah, uh, I say bad guy. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Cool. You lied to me! That's your number right there. What have you got to say about it? What's wrong with you, Julia? I picked two calls, okay? The first one wasn't Esther. So now you admit to picking a call from Esther. And why the hell is Esther calling you? Mom. Edex, will you shut your stupid mouth? You stupid tramp! Why are you calling her names now? That's unnecessary. Really? Edex, I should stop calling her names? What is it to you if I call her names? What's your business? to you. Asali! Julia, you're overreacting. Just calm down, okay? Relax. Mm. Really? How long has this been going on, Edit? Asali! How long has this been going on? How long has what been going on? So she calls me to find out what I want to eat. I don't see any problem with that. Because reason she's the one that cooks my food. At least she cares enough to ask what I want to eat, unlike some people I know. Mm. You see the way you're talking to me? Listen to yourself. Can you, can you hear yourself? Look at the way you're talking to me in front of the maid. Edit. And since when is it a crime for a working class woman to hire domestic staff to help with the chores around the house? Edit, are you trying to justify your actions? You want to put the blame on me? I'm talking to you. Julia. All this is in your head. There is nothing going on. Stop letting your mind play tricks on you. There's nothing wrong with her calling me, you hear? Really? Edith, is this the truth you're telling me? Yes, it's the truth. <sighs> then why did you lie about the call? Why did you lie about the call? For goodness sake, enough already! And you? If ever my suspicions are true, Esther, if ever my suspicions are true, ah, I will deal with you through and through. Esther, I will smash that stupid phone of yours and put you back to that stupid village you came from. And as from today, don't cook for me anymore. Did you hear me? Don't cook for me again, just to the house chores. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Get out. You use your hands and create a problem. Then the problem turns around and slaps you in the face and you cry foul and look for someone to blame. Better not create a problem in the first place. 
so you're going out. Yeah. I have a wedding. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. What, you want to come? If you wanted me to come, would you be telling me now? Look, if anyone, I don't have time for this. Do you want to come or not? Of course I want to come. Aren't we a couple? Aren't husband and wife supposed to be going for, for a wedding together? Are, are you single that you want to go alone? <laughs> okay. Okay, come. All right? Just make sure you look as um, breathtaking as I am planning to look. Oh, please. You didn't even want me to come in the first place. Go for your stupid wedding alone. Hey, you are. You find one. So you won't tell me, say, all these things they happened since. You know, tell me. It's not be everything when they happen for husband. How's it they talk now? <laughs> mm -hmm. So, Dominic never. He never touched you for how many months now? Sister, three months until last night. I don't even know what time I had yesterday. We just. Conde nice one kind one kind. In fact, I did suspect him. I don't go searching things this morning, no. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but nothing, nothing. <sighs> Sister, I it, it, yet self, you know they carry me waka. Company dinner, oh, wedding, oh, visitation. Now later, I even find out say they go all this outing. Oh, wow. So waiting in the talk. What what is he saying is responsible for all of that? Sister, no, no, for Amo. He say, I'm too, I too fat. Say, I know they're portable for sharp, sharp worker. I beg if woman get belly, not be fat, she they fat. Eh? <laughs> and the thing just tire me. It tire me. If I, if I chop, no problem. If I spit, it a vex. If I, if I, if I, if I even eh, 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 sleep, no trouble. Sister, I don't tire out. That's what they be. So you feel saying don't they carry woman? Yes, no. Be funko. Don't make no fit tell me, say, these three months, you not do anything. Oh. <laughs> wow. Okay, today not today, make him come back. Ah. Just I had to. Ah, uh, madam, your car don't spoil. You no spoil. I just back outside. I will come. Your guard here, I'll serve you. Ah, uh, it's there, it's fine. Good. Yes. Since when you don't they come back by this time? Ah, uh, you don't tell when they come back, right? Mm. Yeah. See. Anyway, may you go quick, go see them. Ifeinwa has told me all what has been happening in this house. And she's very worried. Did she tell you why? Well, it's her thinking that you do not love her anymore. Mm -hmm. She feels you may be looking outside since you don't look inside anymore. You don't look at her. You were at her wedding. Mm -hmm. You saw 
the wife I married. Mm -hmm. Does she look anything like how your sister looks today? Dominic, surely you don't expect her to remain the exact same way she was when she got married. Mm. Pregnancy changes a woman's body. Breastfeeding and the light. I understand so that, all right? But thankfully, Fenyuwa is not the only woman that is pregnant that I know. I know at least one or two women who are pregnant and who still manage to remain in shape and look very well. Oh. Their stomachs are not as big as the stomach of an elephant. They do not spit everywhere like snakes and they don't ah. nibble on everything in sight like a lizard. Ah, Dominic, you're too harsh. What? Take it easy on her. There's so much she can do in her condition. It's not easy for her at all. When the baby started coming, I too added a lot of weight. I did. Mm -hmm. But my husband helped me through that very depressing state. She may be going through depression, Dominic. She needs you. She mm -hmm. needs your help. Perhaps you could register her at a gym or something and... I don't know. You could... Listen, she would not take it. She would rather be registered at a restaurant. The way she eats is enough to depress anybody. If she has any common sense, she should know that I would rather be attracted to a gazelle in a zoo than be attracted to her the way she looks. Do you understand? Is, is it that? Look, if you love her, talk to her. Talk some sense into her. All right? I married my wife to enjoy her all the days of my life, not to endure her. Dominic, huh? when you took those vows for better, for worse, what did you think it meant? I didn't take for worse, for worse. Go and preach to the right person. Goodbye. Go well. What to kill me, Abby? Oh, God. Eh? <laughs> okay, I'll make I give you food, make you drop now. Calm down, no need for that. Eh? Besides, I've eaten the main food already. That was just the set. Okay? <laughs> okay, we can bring drink, make you drink so you'll get power. Mm -hmm. Esther! Esther, Esther! <laughs> Jesus! You two fools! Stop using the name of God in vain. Baby, what are you doing here? I, I mean... What am I doing here? This is my house, isn't it? And that is my matrimonial weapon! Oh, is that? Julia, please just calm down. Listen, I can, I can explain. Yes. Just calm down, Jesus. please. How could you stoop so low? Get that field out of my bed. Get that out! Are you still there? Just listen to me. Please. Don't touch me, you filthy pig. You disgust me, Edith. I want that sleaze bag out of my house this second. Oh, so now you want out of the house, yeah? You want out of the house. You brought her here, so you sent her away. I said no maid, but you insisted no maid. So you're blaming me? Now it's my fault? You humiliate me and then you say it's my fault? You have some nerve, Edith. You really have some nerve. You take a filthy maid to a matrimonial bed and then you have the nerve to blame me for it. A stupid maid that I buy underwear for? The one who came into this house with just one bra. Edith, one bra and one pants. That we couldn't stand her body order for weeks. Until I practically forced her to start using roll-ons. And that's the woman you're talking to on matrimonial bed. You have no shame. No shame at all. And you have the nerve to say it's my fault. You are unbelievable. 
You disgust me. I hate you, Edith. I hate you. You're a pig. A dog. A pig is cleaner than you are. How low can you get? Are you, are you really this filthy? My God. <sighs> Mom will surely hear this. Hey. Hey? How many bottles have you had? But what, what are you talking about? What does that have to do with anything? Do I, do I look drunk to you? No, you don't. But I don't know how many other things you've consumed that are unknown to me. What are you, what are you talking about? That's me. That's me. Dominic, that's how I feel inside. That's how I should look. That's why you married me. Look at me now. Just look at me. Yeah. That's the woman I married. What have you done? What have you done to help me keep myself? Really? Everything I've said, what have you done? Said, said, what did you do? What did you do other than mistreat me and, and scream at me? What did you do to help me keep myself? Seriously? It's my fault now? I'm the one to blame. If anyone, have you said everything I've done? Twice a week I'm out there sweating and running. Did I wait for a pep talk from you? Did you encourage me? Did you even compliment me? Yet I run. I do it for me. I do it for me and yes, I do it for you. No, 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 you don't do it for me. Not for me. Maybe for those women you're seeing, but definitely not for me. You this in great. Three months I waited without sex. I never went out on you. What makes you so sure that I'm going out on you now? <laughs> See, they're feeling sorry for yourself. <laughs> if anyone, you have to do something. If anyone, you have to do something. You know, fit sit down here, make your husband eye come out for your body. Yes. You there here? I don't hear, sister. But what can I oh. go do? If I follow and talk, you know, go hear me. If he won't follow and play, sometimes he go just lock up. Eh? Sometimes he go play, but he be like, say, you know, he, he, day, he might day another place or he day another person. God forbid. If anyone, you get to lose weight. Make you try to lose more weight now. All these small, small things where they put for mouth, chop, 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 chop. I still don't talk, say, your belly too big. Reduce some of these things where you did. Not be say you too fat, oh. But just reduce some of this chop, 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 eh? If your husband, they complain of the same thing over and over and over again, you self go do something about her. Abby? Is that you think say they, are, they like the chop? My mouth, they bland. If I not put anything inside my mouth, I go the whole spit. Sister, they try, not be saying how they try, they try. And they take small walks around the estate, but it could just lock in mind, do like saying how they notice. No worry, no worry. Just do small exercise. Continue. I promise you, if you lose weight, he will notice. You're not a fine girl now. You know, say, now waiting catch Dominic. I be that. Make you not forget. Eh? <sighs> I beg. Try. Mr. Hmm. they try. I they try, but Dominic not they encourage me. Eh? Now, so you go to compare me with, with Anita. You know Anita now? That's fine girl with my Rebo guy. Yes. Every day, now you go to tell me, say, oh, see how she slim, oh, see how she fine, oh, her belly flat, oh, despite say she carry belly. But you don't know what her husband they do. The day she sit down and tell me, and that's so why I cry. What did she tell you? She say almost every night, now her husband they massage her, oh. oh. Then he go carry her walk around that their area. 
he don't even register her like full one year for gym. So that even after she born the picking, she go go gym, lose weight. Why she no go fine? My dear. Wait till I go talk. Make yourself, they do your own. They try, they go. See, eh? I got my lizard way for for ground. You know they wait, may person clap for her more. He go, they not the head, they praise itself, they go. My dear, try, I beg, I beg. This is your marriage. Try, yeah? Hmm. To say I am disappointed in you is putting it mildly, Edith. I'll come and talk to you privately tomorrow. But suffice to say for now, this is a hurdle that you both must cross as husband and wife. Edith, you have to beg your wife. And Julia, you must forgive your husband. I can't forgive him. I can't. What Edith has done is unforgivable. Can't even look at him. I'm done with him. Uh, please, Julia, don't let those words come out of your mouth. You are not a quitter. Marriages last long not because they are destined to, but because the two persons involved make a conscious effort to work for it. Hmm? There will always be trials and mistakes, but you must decide to face and overcome it with love and with God. Mommy, I'm not even in the frame of mind for that counsel that you're giving to me now. I can't take it. How do you expect me to forgive him? How? I can't stay in this house with him. I need to give him space and I need space myself. And why the heck does he always have to be the man who make the mistakes? If the reverse were the case, would you sit here and tell Edith to forgive me if he caught me in my matrimonial bed with my gate mannequin? Would you? Mm. Exactly. I didn't think so. What bish? Julia, listen to me. I'm your mother. Listen to me. Don't be quick to run away without a fight. You must not leave this house. You hear me? The two of you must stay together and work through your challenges. Work through what challenges? What challenge? Esther, get out of my house. Get out! Esther, take your bag outside quickly. I'll come and meet you. Where's that phone? Bring it. I don't want to bring the same air with a low-life imbecile like yourself. Get out of my house. Julia, was that necessary? She was already leaving the house now. You see what I have to deal with? You see, he's not even sorry. He still thinks I'm so hard on her. Yet you want me to stay in the same house with you. You disgust me, Edith. Hmm. Edith, you are not helping matters. You have really hurt this woman. You must show her you are sorry with your words and actions. A good husband must learn to understand his wife's emotions. Eh? I will come back here and talk more to you. And a good marriage is a union between two great forgivers. Think about it. I'll see you both tomorrow. But well, right now, I have to take her back. You'll miss me, you'll stay with me. We'll win this war, we'll fight for what we have. Have you done this before, Bosse? Ah, madam. Now nah, they do things. I have two houses for Akure, for Ibadan. For Abuja and for Lagos here. So how long did you work in your last place? New Bossa. I don't understand. Where you worked before? How long was it? Ah, Odu Medini, two years. So did they fire you after the two years? Fire. Fire key. Nibu, for where? <coughs> she have been sack you after the two years I'll be waiting. Wow, she must be very good. She hasn't even heard the word sack before. Mm. Okay. You can start work. Ah, it's just, sir. It's just, ma. Thank you, sir. I don't want to. 
I don't have the fact that she's from you. My sister will bring someone else for me. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay, then. I got her for you, if you... I don't want her. If you don't want her, then it's okay. It's gone. You can, can go. You go. You just agreed to let her go like that? I go have for you, sweetheart. If you don't want her, there's no problem. She has to go. I can't remember the last time you called me that. Sweetheart. That's because I call you by more imaginative names. I know you did not ask her to come and destroy my daughter's marriage. Well, I have brought her back to you just as I collected her. What is left nice for you to give her words of advice? She's a young girl. She should be looking forward to marrying somebody someday. Making a good wife for someone. Chai, my sister. I beg, make her no vex. Yeah? I don't send her, make it come break your home. Don't be me, send her. I actually came along because I had a lot of things to say to her parents. But I can see there's no need. Mom, please let's leave here. <laughs> when a woman they for her husband's house, yeah? you know they listen. You know they hear the thing with the man they talk. You know say, trouble. Esther, mama, he did too strong headed. You know, they listen. I don't tell her, say, make you know, send Esther go big city. Make Esther day here, marry. But she no listen to me. She sent her go big city. The time where Esther begin send money, come home. See, make we use and complete house. Mm. Now I know say before you go take the man where they send that money will come here to you. Papa Esther, I don't think I understand you. Um, I'm sorry. I don't understand. You mean my husband was sending money for you to complete your building? Papa, why are you wicked like this now? Why are you wicked like this? Not be house where all of us go, stay with that. Why you they tell that now one now? Don't mind him. You stress man. Don't fear for me. Live for that house, now lie. Now you and your mama go live for that house. Me and my son, we go live for this house where I take my money pay for. You don't hear me? I hear I go live. So, you mean... Esther has been sending you money to complete your building. I talk and for him back. No be in this. I talk and for him back. If they send money, come. Now you and the mama. You the planner. This cannot be true, Mom. It cannot be true. Can we just leave here, please? Hmm. Madam, not true. Make I just tell you not true. Your husband, they give me money. Uh -huh. He said you'll be terrible wife. No be me talk. Oh. Now he talk. He said you know they do. You know they clean, you know they do anything. Which kind of woman go marry? He go say, he no go sleep with him husband. He no go cook for him husband. If they touch him, he go say here. If they touch him, he go say here. So he come meet me now, and I they give him what thing you know they give him. Uh -huh. uh, so, and you know say I no go sleep with him for free. I be, you expect say make I sleep with him. To fear what? Tell the truth. Esther, I the shame for you. See the kind talk when you they talk. Mom, let's just leave here, please. I can't take any more. Uh, anyway, I thought you said, Madam, help me bring my picking come back. Hmm? 
Everything when I don't talk, eh? I don't hear them. Thank you. Where can I come to go? Hey! All night go reach you for, for here. Where can I come to go in the house? See them. Like mama, like daughter. Two of them are the same thing. How? Are the same for now. Ne. We could have no thanks. I know send my daughter make a con scatter on her home. And I know send her come. I beg her. Anything where my daughter don't do, we could have forgive her. I beg her. Eh? And as soon as they go, I did, my prayer will say, may God carry on her reach home. Where, where? Hey! Hello. Yes, madam. I'm very good with housework and even farm work, everything. I'm very good. Okay, when do you think you can start? I can start even now, now, now. They're ready. Okay, you can start um, immediately. But listen, and listen to me very carefully, because these are the things I would expect you to do around the house. Okay? You have to cook. Can you cook? Yes, ma'am, I can cook. Very well? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, you would clean. Can you clean? Yes, madam. Promise me you'll stay with me. We'll win this war. We'll fight for what we have. Promise me you'll stay with me. We'll win this war. We'll fight for what we have. When you finish them, um, bring some more for me upstairs. Yes, mm. madam. And then serve my food while it's still hot. You can serve a gas on when you hear the car coming. Yes, ma'am. Mm. And that's how it goes. In the name of I am madam, we let go of ourselves, consuming all consumables while the maid sweeps, scrubs, mops, washes the dishes, the laundry, running endless errands, and in the process, losing a ton of calories, staying fit, and never gaining weight. But as for us, madams, we do the instructing, the commanding, lounging and sleeping in bed and on the sofa, eating the million meals that the maid cooks, and binging a million times out of sheer laziness. We do this, we pile on the weight, and then we blame it on the pregnancy or on marital stress. We say our husbands are stressing us and pushing us into emotional eating. We keep eating and in the process we lose ourselves. And then the weak husband falls back on the slim, hard-working one who attends to his needs. Yeah. How could
good you. You're building a house for my maid? Really? What's next? Marriage? Ask me! Control yourself, Julia, please! You wicked, shameless son of the devil. I regret the day I married you, Edith. Ah, oh, Edith. I regret taking those vows with you. I should have listened to my friends. You're certainly not the man I married. And you're certainly not the one I married. So stop pointing your finger at me because right I'm pointing right back at you. You're very stupid. You're very stupid, Edith. I can't even look at you. Your breath even stinks. You disgust me. Piece of filth. Julia. 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 Um, it's all. Sir? Please come. Do you know how to give foot massage? Yes, sir. Please help me. I'm kind of tired today. Welcome, ma. You did great with this one. She's really very hands on, very useful around the house. Very, very, very useful. It's all. Ma? Get up. Uh -huh. Go to your room. Uh -huh. Come. Let this be the last time I will see you touching my husband's food. Yes, ma'am. If anyone, what is that now? Can you touch it? Can you bend to touch it? Huh? But what you did was disrespectful, I must say. Dominic, can you tell that I'm holding back? Okay, madam. Good afternoon, ma. I hope there's no problem. Julia, there's problem. There your friend that I saw you with the other day. What is her name? Ma? I said there your friend that I saw you with the other day. What is her name? Her name? Are you not hearing where? Or does she not have a name? Of course she does. It's just, there's a lot on my mind right now. What has that got to do with you telling me her name? What is her name? Akaita is her name, ma. Oh! 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 So she's the one my husband has been carrying all over the world. And around town, Julia. I knew it. My instinct does not fail me. I want to send it to her now. Tell her I said if she values her life, she should stay away from my husband. Did you hear me? Yes, ma'am. She should stay away from my husband. I knew, Julia. That's what you're doing, eh? Ma, has she my husband, your single friend, Sabi? Madam, you know that's not possible. I'm a married woman. I would never encourage such. Nenu, married woman. Give her my message. I will. I Give will. her my message, oh. She should stay away from my husband. Nenu, married woman. Hey, ma. Ito. Good morning. Ma. You drank tea. God forbid, oh. In my husband's mug. No, ma, it's not me. It's okay. It's okay that drinks the tea this morning before he go work. My husband had breakfast before going to work. Yes, ma. Since when? I even made a toaster bread kifa. He carry him young with the tea together. After he drink finish, he come. It's go okay. Work. Sorry, ma.
food was good. Mm -hmm. uh, back to the matter, what exactly are your plans? Are you still going to continue staying in the house with him? <sighs> After what he has done? Hey, you married women are incredible. You are just incredible. The man is not even remorseful. And you are still staying there. Oh wait, you are waiting for when he finally throws you out completely. He wouldn't do that. He wouldn't dare. <sighs> he can't try it. Mm. Girl, wake up. Wake up and smell the roses. Your husband was screwing your house girl under your nose. He completed her parents' house in the village under how many months that this girl has been in your house. And you still think that a man of such character will not throw you out of his house. Chai! This is why women are dying every day in marriages. Are you just going to... Babe, the handwriting is clearly written on the wall and you're, you're refusing to see it. Why? This man may start beating you. He can't. I worry for you. He would never do it. If there's any guy that's anti-wife bitter, it's Edit. He'd never beat me. Mm -hmm. But you're going to continue sleeping on that same bed with him. That bed that he has done God knows what and how many times with that girl. Mm. Huh? Babe, you're not trying at all. Uh -uh. How is he supposed to know that you're angry at him? Look, I'm not saying, you know, start talking divorce or anything, but come on. You need to, you need to show your anger. I mean, it can't be cool that you're just staying there in the house with him after what he's done. Doesn't make any sense now. You know, it's not like I didn't think of moving out of the house when I caught them in bed. But every time that I tried it, my mom's voice kept playing in my head. And it says, no matter how angry I get, no matter how I want to go about the situation, moving out of the house is just not an option. So, I just, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, yummy. Continue staying there. Continue staying there. Look, I'm concerned for your life, okay? I'm concerned for your life much more than this marriage that you're trying to hold on to. I know. I know. Babe, I want you to be safe. I know. But I also worry for you, Kaite. You need to be a lady of your words. And in this thing with Mr. Pedro, that man's wife can go to any length. I seriously fear for you. You don't have to worry about that, okay? Look, it's, I'm ending it. In fact, it's done. It's over. Okay, so you don't have to worry about it. I'm glad. I'm excited to hear that, really. And who knows? You and Matthias might just end up together. Eh? End up where? In, in get married, that, the kind of marriage that you're going through right now. No, please, thank you very much. I am very happy with the way I am now. Thank you very much. Hello, pretty ladies. Hi, Matt. Hello. How are you doing? Okay, I guess this is where I take my leave. I hope you're not leaving because of me. Oh, no, I know. It's actually getting late. I should get going. Yeah. Okay. I'll catch you guys later. All right. Drive safe. I Take will. Care. You too. Hello, boo. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm okay. <laughs> Crazy day. Yeah? You want something to drink? Definitely. All right. Come in. Good evening, ma. I beg I bring a okay clothes. I've washed it all. Bring it. This doesn't feel right. I mean, should someone else other than a wife be washing her husband's underwear and vice versa? This just feels totally wrong. Hello? Babes, don't pack, you know. I'm on my way to your place. What made you change your mind? 
thought about what you said now, and it made a lot of sense. There's no way he'll know how angry I am if I keep staying in this house with him. So, I need to leave. And the most annoying part is his nonchalant attitude. It kills me. He just acts unbothered. Oh, you see? If you continue staying in that house and he's seeing you every day, he won't have a chance to, to think about what he has done now or even feel sorry, not to talk of begging you. So please, my dear, leave that house for him. Hmm? Let him think about what he has done in, in solitude. Please be coming. Yeah. I'm leaving now. See you soon. Okay? Okay. Come, Mumbok. I'm waiting for you. Okay. Bye. Julia, where mm. are you going? What's going on? Well, you've shown you don't love me enough, despite all odds. And for that reason, I'm leaving. And you think that's the best way to sort this out? What do you want me to do? Just stay in this house with you? And cook for you? And sleep in the same bed with you? The same one where you frolicked with Esther? Is that what you want me to do? To pretend like nothing happened? You're a joker. But you know your mom told you to stay and work this out? It was also my mom who said Esther was calm-headed, wasn't she? Look, there's so much in my head, I just need space. I need to clear things out. If that's what you want, fine. Ekenes' salary is due tomorrow. Pay him. I know it is said that married couples should stay married for better, for worse, in sickness and health, only till death should you part, and blah, 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 blah. But I wish that scenarios like this were highlighted during those vows. I doubt anybody would still be at those altars. Better for worse indeed. Past midnight. Yeah, the whole team had to work late today. Mm. And who were you working on? Excuse me? You heard me. What do you mean, who am I? What are you talking about? I want you to log on. What? You heard me, Dominic. I heard you. Yeah, I heard you speak. Does not mean that I heard you making any sense. Ituro has been helpful with the chores, cleaning, washing, everything. I don't think you could ever find a house help as good as her. I found her. I would find someone else. Okay, what has she done? She's too forward. I'm just one month and she feels like she wants this house. Fenwa, come on, don't be ridiculous. Ituro is not your competition. She's your help. And I said I want her gone. You know what? No, she stays. We need her. She's going nowhere. You know, you feel very strongly about her. I only wonder why. All I'm saying is you want her gone for no good reason. I am the woman of this house and I say I want her gone. Okay, it's all right. Have your way. Knock yourself out. Send her away. Promise me you'll stay with me. We'll win this war. We'll fight for what we have. Promise me you'll stay with me. We'll win this war. We'll fight for what we have. Hello? Dominic, I'm cleaning and sweating up and down. It's all right. She's gone, no? I hope you at least give her some transport fare before you throw her out of the house. 
I did not send her away, Dominic. I woke up and she was gone. You didn't send her away. Okay. You sound like you don't believe me. I believe you in Feyama. I'm working. Okay, we'll talk about it later. Talk about what? The way you say my name, Ifenwa. No, no feeling, not a thing. As if you're, you're referring to a cadaver in, in a medical laboratory. I still want to know exactly where this is coming from. It's coming from the way you treat me. The way you look at me. That, that look when, when you gaze at me. How on a pain I've become so that a May house girl is, is getting your hormones raging. Is that why you sent that poor girl away? Eh? Because of your baseless and stupid insecurity? Oh, now it's baseless, eh? Dominic, it is baseless. What exactly is your problem, you think? Is it the pregnancy? Because I've seen women who carry their pregnancies better than I've had the misfortune of experiencing in my own home. I know you've seen women. Is that not what you do these days? You look at every other woman but your wife. Is it for no reason? Is it for no reason? Look at yourself. I can't believe I was once in love with you. What did you say, Dominic? What God will punish you! If anyway, you hear the biggest mistake of my life. The biggest. I swear to God. I will correct it. God punish you! You miss me, you stay with me. We'll fight for what we have. If I don't do now, stop crying. You know you're pregnant. Don't go cause another while for picking with the belly. Eh? It's enough. You don't do now. No do my full cry. Don't do. Don't worry. I'll talk to Dominic. I'll talk to him. Everything will be okay. Don't worry yourself. Oh. Oh, wow. It's okay. Listen, my daughter. It's always a mistake when a husband and wife quarrel and one person decides to leave the home. It reduces the chances of reconciliation. Marriage is not a boyfriend and girlfriend relationship. In a marriage, when you fall out of love with your husband, or he falls out of love with you, you continue living together until you fall back in love with each other again. Eh? Like I told you before, marriage is a union of two great forgivers. Can you not try to be a great forgiver? Eh? Remember, God, who is holy, constituted marriage, its rules and its regulations. So as a Christian, you have no choice than to obey his commands. It's mommy. She be... I, I, is she going to forgive someone who has not asked for forgiveness? He has to ask for forgiveness first, and then she can consider forgiving him. That's the problem, mommy. He's not even sorry. He's as if he's even happy that I left the house. He's not called me or... Or even send someone to beg me. <laughs> uh -uh. He's the one who committed a sin here. He's the one who broke the marital vows. I'm the one who's hurt. Who's traumatized out of my skin. Yet I'm the one being asked to go and forgive. Oh wow. <laughs> Sometimes you must forgive before the apology comes. You have to set yourself free before you can free someone else. Um, Ikaiti. Yes, please. please. Just excuse us for a few minutes. I want to tell my daughter something. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. No problem. Thank you. Thank I you. hope you don't need anything. No, my dear. Thank you, Kaite. God bless you. Julia. Mommy. Go back to your husband's house. You must learn to fight. Fight for something good. Edit is a good man who has done something bad. But he cannot think straight or make the right decisions now. That is why you are his wife, to help turn him back in the right direction. Eh? Remember the vow you took in the presence of God, your family, your friends on that faithful day. Eh? Edith cannot think straight now. That is why you have to help him. And you have to begin to think about your friendships. 
the people you call your friends. Not every friend is true. A word is enough for the wise. Promise me you'll stay with me. We'll win this war. We'll fight for what we have. Dominic, listen, I know it's really hard for you to understand this, but when a woman is pregnant, you know, her hormones and a lot of things go radical in her body. And it makes her really act strange. And it's a really trying time for the husband, I understand that. But isn't that, isn't that what, what love is? Love is patient, Dominic. This will pass in just a matter of time. It will pass. It will. You bet it will. Dominic, in a year's time, you both will be looking at this and just having a laugh, really. I'll never find this funny. I could never laugh over this. Look, you say when a woman is pregnant, she gets cranky and irritable. I have news for you. When a man is broke or has a deal that goes wrong, he is cranky. All right, ask her. When last did she know that I was broke? Or I had a boss deal. Hmm? Never. Because I deal with it. I control myself. When a man is horny and has no outlet, he gets, he gets, he gets uncontrollably cranky. <laughs> right? No, I'm asking you now. For the past months I've been I've been hornier than all the, all the teenagers in American Pie. Did she know about it? Never. Because I deal with it. And no women who handle their pregnancy tantrums or whatever it is you, it is you call it, without destroying their homes. Don't need Quiet. Please. But I hope that you were discreet enough not to let your wife follow you here because I'm not happy. Baby, I'm not happy. That woman has traumatized me so much. I'm not seeing her in my sleep. Imagine. I'm, I'm sitting down here with you and instead of enjoying myself, I'm, I'm thinking about how she could come banging on the door or calling your phone. Sweetheart, you don't have to worry about that. The phone is switched off. And uh, she doesn't know this place. So... You have nothing to worry about. Oh. Okay, well, it is well. But seriously though, why is she so controlling of you? I, I don't get that. You act like you're terrified of her. You're supposed to be the man. Why don't you exert some control over this woman? And you know, instead of you always running around and trying to avoid her or explaining yourself to her at every opportunity. Hmm. You won't understand. Try me. You see, first, I do what I do out of respect for her as my wife. And secondly, because she owns the company. Yes. When her father died a long time ago, he left everything he had to her as an only child. That mm -hmm. was about 17 million naira as at 15 years ago. She practically invested everything into this company and let me run it alone. I was a poor boy who was in love. I had nothing to my name. Of course, we have made hundreds of millions after that. And the company is still growing bigger. But I always remember that if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be what I am today. 
And that is what makes me kind of mellow. Hmm. Interesting. Well, she's gotten back her 17 million over and over. She should be thanking you the way that I see it. Hi, baby. Uh, no, I'm not home right now. Um, I'll be home in about an hour or two. Yeah, sure, I'll call you. Okay, bye. Your boyfriend? Are you jealous? You shouldn't be, it's nothing serious. That doesn't mean I shouldn't be jealous. Look, see that. You know, I'll take very good care of you. I love you. And I want us to be very, very serious. <laughs> you know, no matter how serious you want to be with me, you can't marry me, okay? Especially not with that crazy woman as your first wife. And um, if I can still be here with you after she's threatened my life, sweetie, you can, you can manage one small boyfriend on the side. Don't worry, he's, he's not, it's not really that serious. He's not going to affect our time. I will always have time for you. You're such a sweet girl. Promise me you'll stay with me. We'll win this war. We'll fight for what we have. Daddy, I make Uba and stockfish for you. Thank you. It smells great. Esther, what can't you make? Yesterday was a bachelor. Day before yesterday in Kobe. Today we'll burn stockfish. With a girl like you, one doesn't need to go hanging out. <laughs> Daddy, make I take care of you well, well. Because when I hear say, Madame don't come out, I say, Chai, I go come leave my daddy alone now. And I know say my daddy no sabi cook. So I say, make I come, make I come cook good food for him. Daddy. No worry, this food is sweet well, well. Mm -hmm. But pepper there inside, though. Make I go bring water, make a drink. No, no worry, no worry. Uh, thank you, Esther. You see, I love the way you take care of me. You make me feel pampered all over again. Mm? Daddy, now you didn't take thank care of you. me fast. Apologize for everything that happened before, for everything my wife did. Huh? But you are here now, that's all that matters. Daddy, no problem. Thank you, say you allow me to make I stay. Hello, boss. Have you been on Facebook lately? Man, that picture of you and Elohu, man, it's getting my attraction. As a, as a, as a right now, 80 likes. I mean, just take a look. Really? <laughs> yeah. Seriously, boss. I mean, seriously? That's what you came to tell me? Uh, okay. Um, bad timing, sir. Sorry. You know, some of us men do some crazy things sometimes when it involves sex. He messed up. Oh, yes, he did. But you guys can still work it out. I mean, just, just try and work it out, please. You spoke to him, right? Yeah. Did it sound to you like someone that was sorry? How do you work out things with someone who is happy the way things are? He is not happy. Trust me. Look, 
It's just a man's pride that is getting the better of him. Deep down inside, he is roasting and very, very unhappy. Did he say that to you? That he's unhappy? I know he is unhappy. He's my friend. He misses you. And like I said, it's just pride and ego. That's what's making him not call you. And it misses me. Yeah. Please, Matthias. I really doubt that. Look, he spent the whole evening talking about how you pushed him into doing what he's doing now. How does that translate to him missing me? I'm a man. I read between the lines. And what is this thing I pushed him into? What is he doing? So, Edith is still doing? <laughs> I wonder with who this time. Maybe they are Caracela on the next street. <laughs> well, I'm ready if you are. Good looking. Thank you. <laughs> Certainly am. Um, you look wonderful, my dear. Thank you very much. It's for you after all, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, shall we? Of course. Um, Jules, you can come with us if you want. I mean, we don't mind. Oh no, you guys, go on. Have fun. I have work to do. Piles of personal stuff and of course, office work. You sure? So, yeah, sure. Go on and have fun. I'll be good. Okay. Are you sure? I'm positive, girl. Thank you. All right. Not a problem. Mm -hmm. I guess we'll see you later, right? Yes, yes we course. definitely will. Have okay, fun. Girl. don't work too hard. I'll try. Waiting for someone. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Beautiful, sexy, Jalak. Don't let your wife hear you. Esther, how are you? Nadia, I got something to tell you. What is it? I don't carry belly. Daddy, say something, I beg. You mean you're pregnant? Yes, Daddy. I don't carry belly. And your show is for me? Uh uh, who only go be again? Now your own now. Are you serious? My child. Yes, Daddy, you go soon be Papa. Wow. You didn't happy to say I carry better, Abby. No, of course, of course I'm happy. Thank you, Esther. Thank you for making me a father. You could say you're happy oh, because my mama said me I tell you, I said I'm not gonna tell you. Since I know be your wife, say you feed this on the picking, so I say make I go come out hey, For what? Don't even mention that. You're carrying my seed. <sighs> oh, Esther, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm happy to make you a daddy. <laughs> Promise me you'll stay with me. We'll win this war. We'll fight for what we have. How could you let yourself get pregnant? How long have we been dating? Oh, this is just crazy. See, I don't want to be a part of all this, so I'm not ready for this now. Matthias, don't be like this now. Why are you saying that you don't, you don't want to be a part of this? This is your child growing inside of me. I mean, 
Come on now, haven't you ever thought of settling down? You know, starting a family of your own and quitting all this run around that we do. Settling down? <laughs> With you? Have you ever... You're actually thinking of getting married. <laughs> and you've never acted or even sounded like someone like that. Oh. I know, I, I, but I do want to get married, Matthias. I do. Okay? Any girl who says she doesn't want to get married, she's just lying to herself. And probably it's because she hasn't found the right partner. Babe, I want a man of my own. Someone that I can, I can share my hopes and my fears with, you know? Have kids and raise a family like all the other women out there. Hey, please forget the facade that I put up. It's, that's just to hide my loneliness. Hey, I do want, I want, I want us to, to, I want us to do this, okay? We can do this. All right, we have something good here, okay? You like me and, and I like you. Why, why can't we get married? I mean, it's not such a terrible thing. Look, I don't need to think or consider this for long. I already know I don't want to do this. I'm not ready for all this. You need to find something to do about this. Oh. Get rid of it. <sighs> get, get rid of it? Matt, at what age? Baby, please, we, let's, let's do this now, please, please, I beg you, don't, don't ask me to go under the knife, please, okay, no. just do the honourable thing, come on. See, just, just, just stop it all. Ha -ha. I have told you, I am not ready. And you want to know the truth, I'm not even sure whose pregnancy that is. Wait, what do you mean by that? Are you insinuating that I now sleep around? Babe, this is yours, okay? <laughs> ah. Katie, come on now. Did you really think that what we have will go deeper than this? When from the onset I already knew about Mr. Pedro. Look, I know girls like you. You can't stay faithful to one partner. No. And quite frankly, I'm done with this conversation. I'm out of here. You know what? <sighs> Fuck you, you retarded son of a bitch. Whatever. You narrow-minded piece of shit. Get the fuck out. What in the world is going on here? Ekaiti. What's happening? Why are you cursing him out like that? Your relationship is still so young. Yeah, well, it was hello and now it's goodbye. Can you at least tell me what happened? Ekaiti, did he do something to you? Talk to me now, Ekaiti. Don't mind the bastard. He's cheating on me. And he had the boldness to tell it to my face. Oh, get this. And to tell me that he's not even going to quit. What? Matthias said that. Mm. Wow. Mm. Babe, he said that. Koro Koro to my face like this. That's why I had to walk him out of my house. Rubbish. Can you imagine that? A relationship that I was trying to manage just because I've ended things with Pedro. Well, I guess a player will always be a player. Oh. Girl, I'm really sorry, oh. Very sorry about that. Because this is all my fault. Babe, please don't even blame yourself, okay? <gasps> it's not your fault, please. And please, don't go asking him anything. Because it will just seem as if I'm begging him and I'm not a beggar. In fact, I am very, very happy to be rid of him. And, and I, can, I can now mingle and enjoy my life. Good riddance to bad rubbish. <sighs> of course I won't ask him such. I won't do that. You see me trying to tell you how to live your life when I haven't fixed my marital problems. But men are such animals. At least it's a good thing that this one showed his true colors before we went too far. Not like your edit 
that waited until he trapped you into marriage first before showing his true colors. <laughs> See, eh? That man is going to have to beg and crawl in the gutter before he will even be able to see your foot. How do you know what I was just thinking? I couldn't concentrate at work all day. I couldn't do anything. I was just thinking about this whole situation. And the most annoying part is, he's not even sorry. He that committed an atrocity has not even come to apologize. Can you imagine that? <laughs> imagine edits that was acting as if he couldn't go a day without me when he was trying to get me to marry him. Mm. I don't blame him. It's myself I blame. But I swear, if he doesn't come to beg me, there's no way I'm going back to that house. Yes, so, yes, girl, you've got class, okay? You're high society. Girls like us don't beg men, they beg us, whether husband or boyfriend. I beg high five me, Jerry. Nonsense. Talk to her. things in the house. For days she may not even do the dishes. Mm -hmm. She may even forget to brush. If you ask her, she'll say, oh, uh, um, it's gonna make me throw up. Seriously. Since she got pregnant, she's become more and more selfish than her normally selfish self. Everything is about her. Everything. Her love for me is incidental. It's only, you know, because she needs something from me. She always wants something from me. I don't, I don't know. She whines and nags about everything. You can never satisfy her. She fires all the housemaids in the house for no reason. And she can never keep the house clean by herself. The food is never sweet enough. It's that her muscle, more sugar, more this, more that. I'm not caring what I need. I'm tired. Darling. I'm tired. See, many women are selfish. It's not new. Many women are selfish, especially when they're pregnant or married. They feel they have nothing else to prove. That shouldn't get you worked up now, darling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look, what I have to tell you, I've been... I've been unhappy. I've been so unhappy since she fell pregnant. In fact, since I got married. No, darling, you don't have to be unhappy. You have me. Where were you last night? You slept out. I know you slept out. 
I was wide awake when you got in by six, but where were you? As you can see, I'm running late. I have no time for silly questions. Hi, Greg. Greg, please, I need you to help me talk to Dominic. He, he's, he's just behaving so irrational and out of control. I don't know what wrong I've done him. Please just help me talk to him, please. I don't want to lose my husband. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. They're <laughs> fine. They're fine. Yes, <laughs> Mama. Hey. Oh, thank you, dear. Thank you. Hey, Papa. So, as I was saying, um, Esther is pregnant for me. And I want to do the right thing according to tradition. The child is not a bastard child. It's my child. And I want to take full responsibility and uh, custody of it. Um, <clears throat> is that it? Papa. The thing where you come do. Hmm? Now the thing where every man will give another man the king, Bene, supposed to do. Mm? Mm. So that all the children where they get could they proper. None of them could become bastard. Mm? I appreciate it. Thank you, Papa. Mm. Bet, you go give me time. Make a good think. Mm? If I think I finish, then I could give you my reply. Uh-uh, mm -hmm. Papa. What did they talk now? Why you won't make it give you time? You don't want me to marry me. Why you Just talk your mouth. Now you go tell me what you to do. You go teach me tradition now. Not me, your papa. In short, come out from here. I said, come out. She not go anywhere. Make she stay here. Talk what you want to talk. Talk and finish. Uh, sorry about that, papa. I just want to do the right thing. Uh, but since you've said I should give you some time, no problem. I'll, I will do that, sir. I also want you make you go home. Go think about them. Well, well. As he be say, you still get married. Hmm? Esther, now my daughter, now my Pekin. I know that one. I also know say... No, say what? Imagine. Imagine waiting, man like you. Go they follow sit down talk. They talk about the family. Eh? Enemy of progress. You see correct man. Better man come here, come ask for your daughter at the marriage. And your work now to discourage them. Don't finish. Woman, I don't talk finish. I don't tell you, say, you go carry this your sinful and abominable madness. Go back to your papa's house. I know marry madness join the woman who I married to. Tell her marry you. They hear me. All your life, the thing where you did, they do. And to the plot him, the plot him, the plot him. Even now, you don't know, transfer and give your daughter. Uh -uh, papa, what do I do now? See yourself. Eh? You they hear yourself so. This guy opportunity, now is some men like you, they pray for, for themselves and for their family. But your own not be like that. Your own work now to discourage the way God don't plan by himself. What will they talk, self? What will they talk? Eh? Whether you like him, or, hmm? I be you don't like him. Whether you give your blessing, or, I be you don't give him. This Esther, eh, my daughter, she go marry the man where she get belay for. Enemy of progress. Uh, um, Papa, 
I can come back at a later time to finish this discussion. I'll just leave you to talk with your wife. Papa, you divert me. Oh. Papa, you divert me. Oh. Daddy, let's go. Shepi, you see what you don't do now? Hey, yeah, ma. Wait time you they sit down, they follow you, they talk. You can go meet my in law Jari. As I they follow you, they talk, eh? Now so make you take do So that everything go work out to the perfection. You know, say, we don't suffer this poverty, don't date too long, eh? Now my turn to shine with this, oh. Hmm? And you know, say, if now so God won't take do am, he good. Hmm? Any woman we know Sabi take care of in home. And that woman go enter, take over. Sabi? Now so. <laughs> so as I you don't dance inside, so eh? Make you hold your side. Where where? Hold on. So tell you, you go de permanent for that house. Mama. And you know, say with me, eh? No shaking. Mama, Mama, you no need to tell me. <laughs> Even with this belly, I hold my side well, well. He good. You know, say any woman we no born for marriage. It be like girlfriend. If you come out at any time, you know, say, after this song, when you don't do, make you put on that belay. <laughs> Mama, <laughs> I can see that the house is coming up pretty fast. Uh, yeah, uh, thank you, my son. Any uh, problem? Uh, no problem. Uh, it's just that I was talking to uh, Esther about uh, the fact that she go, they need somebody who go, they help her for house. So that makes you not know, stress your picking, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> thank uh, you. Because uh, pregnancy, now very delicate time for for woman, and you know, say, now her first time. So she no need to carry anything with it too heavy. Make she cook on the stress herself with housework, you know, that kind of thing. Okay. Not true, mama. Even yesterday, my back, they pain me. My belly can they pain me because I did sleep for too long. Yeah. Okay, mama, I understand it's a delicate problem, eh? Uh, no problem, it's a good idea. Eh, uh, you see, the thing we say, I will come stay with them. Okay. <laughs> for like, but I go need money to bring my things come. <laughs> uh, you know, say all the money where they give me, I don't put them for the house. I don't get anything for hand as I do. <laughs> no problem, Mama. No problem. <laughs> uh, we'll sort that out. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. Another thing we say, the traditional right uh, on Esther head. Uh, you know, say uh, she don't carry your picking now. According to traditional, she don't become your wife. <laughs> uh -huh. And uh, that means say uh, every uh, traditional right, plus including dowry, is supposed to come pay them. Because our elders then they wait for village. No mind the way my husband they talk. Mm -hmm. eh? It's just the vex. Everything way then go take do her bride price. You need to bring them. Or else, if she born, you know, go feed mm -hmm. get hand for the piki. Now so our people go talk, say, as never do anything, you know, feel carry the piki. So make you do that one on time so that uh, you know that okay, you can go in there. Okay, Thank Mama. Esther, baby. Thank, Thank you. you. Queen Thank Esther. You. <laughs> Esther, one more. Hmm? I don't enter life. Oh. No more suffering. Help. Yeah. Straight. Hell, I can't remember the last time I was this happy. Shh. Just relax, okay? Mm -hmm. The more you talk, you get worked up. Just relax. Mm. Okay, baby. Okay. If anyone has called you, I know what this call is about. Please cut off my back. Come on, Dominic. Which kind of talk be that? This is your wife of over two years we are talking about here. You know what? I'm glad it's only been two years. Look, come on, look at you. Greg, look at you and Anita. You are the picture of real contentment in marriage. I want that. I love that. I deserve that. Yes, you do, man. Of course. 
But this contentment, anyone can have it. And things don't have to be perfect for you to be contented. Patience are persistent, man. Eh? <sighs> Mr. Peter, no matter how patient and persistent you are, can you, can, you, can you teach a donkey how to speak English? Ah. Is that how you see your wife now, Dominic? A donkey? Have a guy. Look, what's with you and all this activism, self? Ah, I'm tired. All right? I know you are the picture of, of, of responsible husbanding. But what? So what? Look, I'm tired. I'm sick and tired of saying Ah. All right? Leave me alone. Please. Look, I'll talk to you later. Now it's time for a haircut. With that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and what makes you think I was talking about the hair on your head? <laughs> Shit. Promise me you'll stay with me. We'll win this war. We'll fight for what we have. <sighs> Promise I will love and cherish you. I will hold on till the end For better or for worse For richer or for poor In good times and in bad This I promise you Me. 